Moving back to the uh, West Palm Beach situation. Oh, Probably. speaking of cunts. Uh, so this is the show that replaced us, and we have uh, no problem giving you a little taste. Yeah, let's see. This is what West Palm Beach uh, thinks is better than what we were doing for them, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what it comes down to, Rod? Um, they play a lot of music and a lot of local traffic, and what else? Um, sports and entertainment news. They wanted a lot of that because apparently that's what the audience wanted in West Palm Beach. Yeah, they uh, they uh, uh, were clamoring for it, and we answered. Up. Little background on on these two guys. One of them was fired from that station allegedly for. Uh, well, he was fired. It, 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 we. That's what we were told, but it wasn't really on record, so I'm going to say allegedly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for allegedly being involved in some... Uh, Alleged allegedness? Substances. That, allegedly. That, yeah. So he, he was let go a couple years ago, and um, the other guy was an intern for the morning show that originally was there before an they fired him. We an were, intern? We were replaced by, by an intern? intern? By the afternoon jock and an intern. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, wow. Good, good luck to you. All right. Sam, you know something about these uh, guys? Keeping my eye on these guys. Yeah, Smitty is the intern, and before he was Smitty, he was uh, Whisker Biscuit. Whisker Biscuit, yeah. <laughs> we got replaced by Whisker, Whisker Biscuit. <laughs> oh, God. Just thank God I have enough money in the bank. I'm so <laughs> this done business. with this business. Man, we got replaced by Whisker Biscuit. Whisker Biscuit. <laughs> and uh, Jeremy keeps uh, coming up with nicknames that play off his last name, which is Loper. Right. So he would call himself the Lope Nest Monster. Um, he was he would drink lope weisers while on the show. Um, oh, he, fuck. He'd go yo. <laughs> I swear, I just got like a shiver. He'd go yo yo. It's J Lo on your radio yo. <laughs> Not kidding. That doesn't rhyme with loper. He, he was into the whole J Lo thing back in like 2002. Jeremy Loper, he's yeah. the male J Lo. Oh, holy shit! This is what the business uh, is all about. And and corporate doesn't understand why I'm, I'm fucking losing my mind. Wow. Whatever, dudes. Anyway, uh, here's their sweeper. Uh, Jeremy Loper and Smitty here in the oh, morning. Right. New oh, morning. okay. Enough said right there. <laughs> right, wait. Uh, Jeremy Loper. Uh, uh, uh. Here's, here's, What's that fucking voice? It's the puke voice. The G-spot is not the back of the clit, you fucking Shut up, idiot. you dummy. You guys are idiots. The G-spot is the back of the clit. It's inside the body. The clit is what Bobby's talking about with the bumps. Holy shit. No, I'm talking about inside. I know what the clit is. All right. Look, I've hacked enough women up in my day to know I'm inside now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's the sweeper I meant to play. None of that syndicated bullet. This is for locals only. The Morning Buzz. See, Thanks. This is the the trend in the business to like get rid of syndicated go. shows and yeah. go local. Well, isn't it cheaper for them just to go this to this route the the station? Well, it's just a th a trend that's happening, and and we're gonna lose because of it. Like it's all about getting local morning. We're shows the back. new yeah. ends of the of the, like the business. Huh? Syndicated <laughs> syndicated shows are the new ends of the business. Right. That's what we are. We're ends. We're good. we're losing to a trend right now. It's all about getting your local morning show in place. I'm gonna get you. This. Yep. I'm gonna get you the secret. So, and here we go. Here we go. Local. Here's Loper talking about his awesome kids. Smitty changes the subject. <laughs> this is what replaced us in West Palm Beach, Florida. We have no problem showing you guys. Hold this. on. If you think this is better than us, then God bless you. Uh, Jeremy Loper and Smitty here in the morning, the new morning buzz. We're kind of. Jeremy Loper and Smitty here in the morning, the new morning buzz. We're kind of giving you a little brief summary on what we've been doing the last, well, me, the last five years. You've been gone for the radio station close to three years now. Uh, I'm married. I have two awesome kids, my wife, Patty. Holy and shit, oh, I'm going to fucking... <laughs> give me a fucking break with your awesome kids. Oh, my God. I, I can't sit here. I'm going to lose my fucking <laughs> guys, mind. Guys, Holy yeah. shit. That I, sucked. You know what? I got twenty seconds, not even. I gotta stop. I gotta stop taking this this shit seriously because it, it will yeah. drive me nuts. Yeah, this it. is what Let's fucking replaced us. Yes, uh, Iraq. Wait till you hear the other guy. <laughs> okay. Wait, this guy's the better of the two. See if you can tell who's who. Oh, okay. Holy 
shit. Give me a little brief summary on what we've been doing the last, well, me, the last five years. You've been wow. gone for the radio station close to three years now. Uh, I'm married. I have two awesome kids, my wife, Patty. and Oh, my God. His wife, Patty, and his awesome kids. Hopefully he, he finishes the sentence <laughs> with sucks black cock. <laughs> <laughs> Something of interest. Yeah. Dude, I you know what? I mean, we do talk about kids here and there and stuff, but... Oof. This West Palm Beach, Florida, which they're an alternative rock station. They're, you talk, they're, talk about dating them. Right. They're talking. They're talking to very young, like they tell you guys, guys. They don't want to hear yeah. about your awesome kids. Nope. That's a, a fucking young male demo-driven station, and then they, you get guys on there that are talking about fucking my wife, Patty, yeah. and my, oh. my awesome kids. Oh. You know what your kids are? They're probably, I'm not even going to rag you, they're probably just like everyone else's kids. Not awesome. <laughs> they're average fucking kids. They take shits, they have snot coming out their nose, and they're not fucking geniuses. They're Ugh. just kids. Ugh. And uh, I have a four-year-old son, Jaden, a little daughter, Kaylee. She's two and a half. So uh, exciting times at the Loper household. It was quite the trip down here, dude. I, I know that you know my kids very well. And there is nothing like traveling uh, 1,200 miles with a two-year-old and a four-year-old. Oh, my God. The drive was in insane. I don't have kids. I am a kid Wait, myself. The other guy? I'm yeah. so glad that we're oh, in the buzz. And okay. Oh, what, what? That's Smitty. The, is there something wrong with the processing that makes them sound identical? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's Brian. Dude, you know what? Wow. Okay, you know something? This show could work. I would listen to these guys. Why would you listen to these guys? Because I want to hit them. <laughs> Dude, this it's is, awful. This is what replaced us, though. I know. This. That's great this stuff. This is going to get it done. This. Whew. Hey, it's local. <laughs> Come on. My daughter. Yeah, awesome children. Uh, 1,200 miles with a two-year-old and a four-year-old. Oh, my God. The drive was in, in, insane. I don't have kids. I'm a kid dog. myself. I'm so glad that I'm working at the Buzz and not some radio station in, in like South Carolina. <laughs> Did you notice how bad the radio was in South Carolina? Well, it's not like country music or it, and Bible like, verses. Like Jesus FM. Holy shit, Dude, man! I, I I might have an aneurysm. I I yeah. I, I'm, I'm, you have no idea. I hope he's, I you hope have he's no fucking right idea that we. We have to sit here and deal with being replaced by this shit. Nice fucking, nice uh, chemistry they have as far as uh, conversation goes. It's One's not... talking about one thing, the other one just goes off in another fucking direction. And it's like, ah, dude, and awesome. That, like, yeah, awesome. Oh, like what this. a trip. It was insane. Crazy, dude. It was, <laughs> wow, it was yeah, crazy. My four-year-old puked somewhere in Georgia. <laughs> they left afternoons That's in Tom Albany. Brady. What? They left afternoons in Albany to go to West Palm. Oh, Albany? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. All right. Uh, well, God damn. maybe we're just out of touch because they're ready to... They're ready. To, are you ready for this? Yeah. They're they're getting, getting, I don't think I am, they're getting but... Sure. They're getting ready to crack a lope wiser. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> just... Could someone crack a bat over my head? Uh, they're not cracking a low wiser. <laughs> yes, oh, Iraq. He's, he's insane. He's going nuts. I don't know how they do it for the morning show now, but he used to crack low wisers before he used to go into road rage, which was like Metallica and Disturbed and Corn. Of course. Well, once they got to mornings, they realized that low wiser is so strong, you don't even need a specific reason to crack a low wiser. <laughs> Anytime's a good time to crack a low wiser. Ah, nice. Open. Yeah, and. Yeah, well, and the company thinks I'm insane. Or you're the, the company's insane if they think this is what needs to be done in a, in a radio is, market. It's local programming. Well, let's listen to a uh, a cracking of a lopewiser. Whatever you guys want, we're here for you. It's live local radio, the morning buzz, back in effect. Very, very exciting. And shall we crack a lopewiser? I believe we, we just probably should. And uh, coming up here, we'll uh, get you your morning buzz headlines along with buzz workforce traffic, and we'll check your weather. Also, we will get some uh, morning buzz sports smack. It's all on the way. The new morning buzz with Loper and Smitty. All right, our goal is to completely destroy everybody. Wait, what the fuck means, was that? that? And that means to destroy radio as an industry. Did, did they even? I'm gonna, we are going to fuck it up so bad <laughs> next time yeah. that they have to officially like shut off the Cancel power of every radio. radio station in America. That is my new goal. Holy mother of yeah. Christ.
There was no context to take that. Why did they crack a localizer to play the fucking stupid beer sound effect that they've been doing since the 70s? Since the fucking 70s, jocks have been using that beer sound effect to be cool. And this is why we get absolutely no respect, because we are lumped in with these guys. These shows, like the guy guy in Cleveland that has to say, and punt. (laughs) After every a low the guy will say something outrageous and then go and punt. Can someone please tell Budweiser so they can give him a cease and desist <laughs> to not fucking do that I anymore? Like this. Wait, you guys, this is this is like the old Opie and Anthony. You guys are gonna shut gonna, the gonna, fuck up. You're gonna dominate the world. Oh no, Opie's he means pissed. we are. Fuck yeah, I'm no. Pissed. I want to. <laughs> Let's start cracking open some Opweisers. <laughs> Opweiser. <laughs> What's Anthony? Where's Opweiser's the Opweiser's oh. easy. We need oh. a drink for Anthony. Anheuser Busch. Just ca- call it a Dushweiser. <laughs> Kumia cocktail. <laughs> no, Anheuser is a good one. Anheuser. Ant- Anheuser Busch. Yeah. I just want an Anheuser Busch. <laughs> Where's the stupid sound effect? <sighs> oh, I need that. Uh, can you crack get, one open? Can you get? Can you fucking, <laughs> fucking record these guys every day for this week? We, yeah, need, we are yes. playing Lopewiser audio all fucking week. All right. Do you have more there, or is that it? Uh, we got more. Oh, Hold, please. Uh, let's say hi to... Uh, is it Ramon? It's Ramon. Ramon, get me a lope wife. <laughs> that tape can't be real. You guys got to be putting this on. You guys got replaced by those shit dicks? Uh, I Dude, guess so. This is why, I swear to God, I'm either going to be like uh, in an insane asylum or out of radio <laughs> soon. Those are the two choices. Because I can't take it anymore. And I talked to corporate. I'm like, what? What do you mean they, they're they replacing us in West Palm? I'm like, all right, I'll sit back and watch and see what they replace us with. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be open-minded enough as a, as a, as a guy that works for this company. All right, let's see what they replace us with. And it's this? Give the stations autonomy to do it, what they please, uh, and this is what they do. That's fine. Let's it's go to local programming. Let's go to Cody in Indiana. Cody. Hey, I think these guys are real rope bags. <laughs> I wish they'd go rope themselves. Let's go to Chuck in Jersey. Chuck? Oh, it's John from Jersey. Hey, Whatever. John. What's up, John? Hey, yeah, uh, how you doing? Uh, I am married and have two awesome kids. I can really identify with these guys. They are fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good. Uh, how often do you think they have to stress you're listening to live local radio? Well, oh, the PD's probably telling them, now, come on. Well, you got to do this uh, constantly. Well, we told you the PD never wanted us, and uh, he had a, I guess he had to wait a year and what? What are we up to? A year and eight months to yeah. finally get rid of us, and he he just was convinced that it's all about being local. So, so now they're going to push that issue. Every morning, uh, I drop my kids off to school. The last thing I want to hear about is fucking kids. Okay. Jesus, no thing. shit. That is the reality of life. You know, that, that when is, you're when you're making a first uh, impression doing a morning show, I don't think you should mention kids. Maybe maybe after the audience kind of accepts you a little bit, then maybe you, maybe you throw a little of that kid shit. I have in. two awesome kids. No, but you, you talk about making a first impression, and, and you, you're talking to rock dudes. We were down there. Th- these guys like their rock, and and you're on the radio talking about your awesome kids. Your first break. That is a bad. bad you know what song. you need? You need a show like like. Uh, uh, our show, or or like Toucher and Rich, where it's just a drunk. Right, right. Just a drunk on there that doesn't care. That don't. <laughs> that don't use like fake. Ah. Yeah. Ah, oh, wow. Well, yeah. Well, 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 well. Honey, you put the awesome kids to bed. How was your first day at uh, at the station? It was awesome. Just like our awesome our kids. kids. <laughs> Come on. Hey, honey, you're awesome. Group hug around the Loper household. <laughs> Ugh. God, you can only hope for a, a, a open flu on the water heater and none of them waking in the morning. <laughs> you can only hope for a lope crash. <laughs> <laughs> Flounder in Jersey, what's up? What's up, boys? How's it going today? How you good? Your for Anthony would be the Ant Stell Light. Ant Stell Light. And I'm going to take... Oh. I, I'm taking the Opweiser. Yeah, the op- Opweiser and the Ant Stell Light show. All right, what Just about... Just pop that Ant Stell Light. What about Norton? Norton needs a beverage. E-Rock needs uh. a beverage. Sam uh, needs Norton's a beverage. Is urine. Sam needs a beverage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you got? What do you got there, Sam? Well... 
this would be kind of taken from. I, I wanted to do Than Adams. Well, Than right. Adams. Yeah, that's good. All yeah. right. Got, oh, well, Sam Adams is too boring, Sam. We've yeah. got to do something else for you. How about yeah. Rolling E Rock? <laughs> oh, nice. There you go. What's that cheap wine that the, that the blacks drank? We'll give that to Sam. <laughs> we'll give that to Sam. The ripple? St. <laughs> Ives. Nice. Ripple? Oldie. Oh, more what? liquor. Mad Dog 2020. Yeah, I'm trying go. to figure out how to say Cult 45, but with Sam in it. Yeah, that's hard. A Sam, Sam 45. 45. <laughs> Like They're not trying very hard. Why yeah, why, yeah, why should we true. try to be clever? Right. It's Lope Wiser. Right, it does nothing like Bud. And I, I hope you don't get confused and think you're hearing jealousy from us. It's more outrage, trust me. Trust me. Jealousy? There's no jealousy. This is outrage that we would re be replaced by <laughs> these schmucks. Have fun uh, down there. And we will just, and, and believe me, we will announce their ratings every single time they come out. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, more audio all week, Sam, because the next one, I could play this audio. Do we have more for even today? Bring uh, more! Bring me more, Ramon. We need more. Well, because this next one, it's Loper and Smitty. They come out of Limp Biscuit, then take a call from a crazy caller. They can't <laughs> oh, work the phone. Oh, well, listen, listen to how cringing. He kind of adds it. It's not Limp Biscuit. Loper Biscuit. No, 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 no. no. Oh, he fuck. Just, he makes it a little more fun, is all. All right. Limpy Biscuit? Limpy Biscuit. Why Limpy? <laughs> it's fun. It's the morning. <laughs> it's the morning. <laughs> it's the biggest dick. <laughs> it's fun. It's the morning. Yeah, like Get that, me dude. more audio. Get it. Well, you got more? Then we can start cutting up immediately. Where's Danny and everybody? Oh, yeah, start I'll cutting I'll this shit up. Oh, like this it. is horrible. Like well, we had so much shit we wanted oh. to do. Watch this. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Oh, Clear the back. field! Oh, we just took okay, every right. CD that was in front of him that contained Clear everything we were doing today it's all and about, wiped it off the console. It's all about Loper and Smitty. I hope he's back. Dude, dude, is that, is that what, what? is that Loper's, um, what? It's his blog? Yeah. Uh, uh the good life, current mood, accomplished. <laughs> Yo, I had the most amazing Halloween ever. My son and daughter are the age where they enjoy Halloween to the max. Jaden was uh, Diego, and uh, Kaylee was Dora. Picks to come. Just to hear them laugh and to see them smile during trick-or-treating was an awesome moment. We have a lot of good stuff happening lately. Things are awesome as I see them. Have a great night, Loper. You're a fucking douche. Awesome. I hope you don't have awesome DNA. <laughs> Dude, this guy, oh, this the whole so... awesome thing, this is so... he's into Jaden and Kaylee, oh, this... kids and Halloween. So... Oh, oh, man. Fuck off. Uh, Here we go. Well, let's, let's listen. <laughs> in. Let's listen. You, your wife, your kids, all just fuck off. They also apparently have a bit... Uh... Uh, Bronx Johnny the Ron and Fest show actually hates these people too. He really they what? they come up with their own N word. What is it called? Yeah, from their blog, uh, Ninjas Unite. Uh, so we love singing along to hip hop songs, but hate saying the N word. This can at times cause a problem. Who well, hates saying the N word? Favorite hip hop <laughs> jam. Fuck. Who the fuck hates saying the N word? Who hates saying it? We know we're not allowed to, but who hates it? Let's let's all be honest. Let's Black, white, purple, I don't give a shit what color you what are. What color you are? It's we just, all love saying it. Everyone the says it and loves to say it. I love when black people say it. It might be... Uh, you say it. It might be politically incorrect these days, but we could all agree that we love saying it. Oh, if people didn't enjoy saying it, no one would ever say it. I who like the, the fuck doesn't love saying it? It's running it. rampant. I like the way Patrice says Especially it. Especially with the windows Patrice up and the doors locked. I like that he says it like uh, he's surprised. Nigga. Yeah. Nigga, Patrice please. loves the word. Loves he it. He loves it. Um, well, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, their hate... Their hatred can at times cause a problem, as some of our favorite hip hop jams are chock full of end bombs. Get uh, Bronx Johnny the phone. He said, as some of our favorite hip hop jams oh. are chock full yes. of end bombs. Yes. Hey, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. why does Bronx Johnny hate this show? I, I, I've never heard of Loper or Smitty until today. I don't know. It just came up on his radar. And he, By the way, hold on. I got I to gotta crack open a rolling A rock. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. 
That's good. Got myself a rolling oh, can E-Rock. I, can I get one, dude? I'm a little parched. Well, no, you can have yeah. a... Uh, I'll an give an, you an, an, an Ant Stell? All right, give me an, an Ant Stell. Ant Stell? Oh, <sighs> thanks. Wow, that's good. Mm. Does this mess oh, with my sobriety? <laughs> oh, yes, then? Well, they have an example of how they want to replace it, the N-word with the word ninja. That's their solution. Uh-huh. Um, let's try it. I ain't saying she's a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke ninjas. Holy mother of God. <laughs> uh, all right. I, 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 I can't even. And, and now what will ninjas be called? Because well. ninjas are, are fucking ninjas. Yeah. I'm a black ninja. <laughs> wow, well, that's really confusing. I really am. I know you are. <laughs> all right, here. It's the only kind. Here, here's here, here's Apparently. how they come out of a limp biscuit. All right, so. limpy. There you go, little limpy biscuit, doing it nookie style on Florida's new rock alternative. I'm doing it nookie style. <laughs> fucking shut up. All oh, these fucking douchebags. Well, I add West Palm Beach to the list of uh, uh, markets I will work for free. Get a wow. West Palm Beach. Oh, is this awful? <laughs> this is awful. Awful radio. A lot of people, I'm sorry. A lot of people used to love doing his voice at that station. As a joke, right? Yeah. They, they make fun of him behind his back, right? Oh, yeah. Not to his face, I bet. Oh, That's how radio my works. God, am I annoyed. There you go, little limpy biscuit, doing it nookie style on Florida's new rock alternative, 103.1 The Buzz. It is the new morning buzz. We are Loper and Smitty. Something uh, crazy going on here on the phone, Smitty. Uh, let me just answer this line. Uh, hello, the morning buzz. And I made the volume go up. I didn't uh, no, it went beep, 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 and there's a number yes. up there. It shows how high up it went. Hello? See this? <laughs> what does it say there? Volume? What's the hell? What is, what is happening? <laughs> is this real? You want to hear Metallica? <laughs> is that what he said? Oh, my God. Mandatory Metallica for that chick in Century Village. All right, I'll tell you. First of all, yeah, yeah, tear down the wall. I'm, there, I'm tearing down a wall. Tear down the wall because I heard it too. They were uncomfortable about the fact that they were using a fake fucking call that they had to say, "Is this real?" Because they were like, "Oh fuck, someone out there is gonna be on us. Is this real?" Not only real? that, no. when when he he was live up to the point where he goes, uh, "All right, uh, let's go to the phones," and then it goes to a recording. And all that was taped. It goes, something crazy going on. Let me show. But meanwhile, that happened like minutes ago during the last song, maybe. They threw the tape together. I do not know if it's... So he's lying about answering the phone. He's I, not really answering the phone. How do you know something's going crazy on the phone if you haven't answered, if you the, haven't phone answered the phone yet? <laughs> Play that again. You can see where it goes to record There you go, it. little Limpy Biscuit, doing it nookie style on Florida's new rock alternative, 103.1 The Buzz. It is the new morning buzz. We are Loper and Smitty. Something uh, crazy going on here on the phone, Smitty. Uh... Let me just answer this line. Uh, hello, the morning buzz. No, I didn't. I made Tape. the volume go up. I didn't know it went beep, 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 and there's a number yes. up there. It shows how high up it went. Hello? Listen, for is this real? What does it say there? Volume? What the hell? What is, what is happening? Is this real? You want to hear Metallica? <laughs> is that what he said? <laughs> Mandatory Metallica for that chick in Century Village. Chick. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Mandatory Metallica. And you hear his acting. He's like, let's just go to the phones here. Sounded so natural. Is this real? Because you know it's not. Oof. Ah, we need a lot more of this show. Loper and Smitty talk about how excited people are that they won't be talking. Why? <laughs> that's a good. That's, that's a great way to uh, promote yourself. They're see they're making, they're taking shots at us. Yeah, that they're local. They're right. Not be talking. Mm -hmm. We get it. Yeah. That right there is one of my favorite buzz classics. That is Poe and Angry Johnny, Florida's new rock alternative, one hundred three point one. The buzz. What? One of your favorite alter... Uh, what? That song is so old. And it's so wimpy. <laughs> New slogan, they're not just local, they're loco. Oh, oh, oh. They're not just local, they're loper. Loperal. Loperal. <laughs> oh. That right there is one of my favorites. Is Buzz it? Classics. That is Poe and Angry Johnny, Florida's new rock alternative, 103.1 The Buzz. It is Loper and Smitty, the new morning buzz, and lots of calls coming in. So glad you guys are not yapping all morning. Thanks for the buzz music. We'll get used to it. The healthy dose of buzz music every day between 6 and 10 is uh, going to be jammed down your throats, and you're going to love it. Brave are motherfuckers you? making fun. How about you call the Opie and Anthony show and say it to our fucking faces? Yeah. Douchebag. And by the way, uh, we could play music if we wanted to very easily. 
Uh, you try fucking talking. Go ahead. Let's see what creative fucking genius comes out of the likes of you two douchebags. I would love to hear them try to carry a talk show for fucking 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15! They couldn't even Without do it. Without drinking a lope for wiser. one minute. With their lope wiser and your stupid fucking kids. No one wants to hear about your kids! And finally, we get Loper talks about his name. They crack finally, that's something I don't want to hear. And they crack a, another Loper. Oh no, they don't. Okay. <laughs> oh jeez. And for those that don't know, Jeremy Loper in this two-year period or four-year period, when he ventured out into the country, went by the name Rex with three X's. All right, do we really have to get Rex into that? Rex with three X's, and then he tried to be Rex with three X's in <laughs> Delaware. He lost an X, right? So then he was Rex with two X's, and then they made our banner, which only had one X, and now Rex is gone. All together, Jeremy Loper. It's good to have yeah, you back. J Lo on the radio. It's, you, a it's a triumphant return of J Lo on the radio. J -Lo, can, you, can you crack me a Lopeizer, please? I will. Thank you. Frosty and cold. All right, I got an announcement to make. I will, uh, and I swear to God, call the, call the press. I will be out of radio in less than a year. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Mark my word, I'm done. I am fucking done for my mental health. Done. Time to look into other shit. Un. This is Believable. what replaced us in fucking West Palm Beach, Florida, and corporate doesn't understand why I, 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 I'm I okay with this. And then say, ah, whatever, don't, I won't get it. I would just love to see uh, how they do. Huh? Uh, actually, playing music, who knows? Well, playing music. probably shove music down the, their throat the uh, whole time, so that's an easy... Easy thing to do. It's an easy fix. You need someone to push the buttons and, and crack open the lope wisers. Every so often, a nice frosty lope wiser. Well, this talk radio is is, is out. Uh, it's it's, it's just, all about going local, so you're going to yeah. hear more of these fucking local shows doing nothing. And playing music. That's why, you know, we got the, we got the national uh, audience with the XM, thank God. Uh, Caesar in West Palm Beach, what's up? Hey, boys. How you doing today? All right. Hey, man, you guys are absolutely right. These guys are fucking terrible, terrible. But it's it's a trend down here. We've always had terrible morning radio. We start off with, they start off with Howard Stern. After Howard Stern, they gave us David Lee Roth. After David Lee Roth, you guys came when I finally saw a ray of light. I was like, oh, shit, we're going to have some good radio. They take you guys off and put these high-pitched bitches on the freaking radio. Can you imagine waking up in the morning, going to work at 6 in the morning, and hearing these high-pitched voices just screaming into your ear? I gave them the benefit of the doubt at the beginning. I was like, well, let me listen and see what's going on. Forget about it. I went out that afternoon and bought an XM radio, boys. Forget uh, about yeah, it. Yeah, I think we turned a bunch of people on to XM down in West Palm because of the switch. I appreciate it. I guess what I'm trying to get at is is simple. And, you know... And we we definitely try to be honest in the show. Let's say let's say Howard goes back to regular radio, and all of a sudden somebody goes, "Holy shit, Howard's going back to regular radio." We're gonna pick them up. We're gonna pick his show up and dump Opie and Anthony. I can at least understand why someone would decide that's what they need. The proven to do. show, right? Track record, all yeah, that shit, yeah. right? I I it would hurt. It would still hurt, but I would understand. Like, all right, I, I get it because of because of his history. But to be replaced by this shit. Oh my God! This is a, a this is a case of a program director who wants complete control over his morning show, and now has it. This PD can go in there and say whatever the fuck he wants to these guys, and they will jump. They will do whatever he says, and stay right between the fucking lines that he sets. Play the songs he wants them to play at the times he wants them to play, and 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 air check with them and go. When you talked and said this, um, you should have gone in this direction. Like he he can justify his job by having these guys in here. Well, by having you guys on in the morning, you the the they he can't he just he does nothing. No one even sit there and twiddle his dick. So he does nothing. Yeah, and he can't say anything to you. No, because you you uh, you guys We're respond to a higher. Yeah, and we're going to listen to him. Fuck him. And why would you brag that you're going to be playing a lot of music, you idiots? If that's, it's, uh, I have to be a program director. All right, wait. I could maybe quit and just be a program director. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> going to be the program director? Yeah, the only one in the entire business. That's my goal. Another one of their marquee. No, bits. but uh, all kidding aside, though, like. 
if if that's the angle you're taking, like you want to play a lot of music, oh as, a, as a as a as a show, you shouldn't be bragging that you're you're going to be playing a lot of music. Let the fucking station do that, you know, with their sweepers and stuff. But not you as the guy that's opening up the mic, going, "Hey, I just want to tell you, man, this is going to be great because we're going to play a lot lot of music and we're barely going to talk." They gave away orange juice. <laughs> what? <laughs> is that what I'm saying? As, tell me, I'm not really seeing this. What are you talking about today? O.J. was freed from jail, so to celebrate, we're offering free O.J. to our listeners uh, starting at 5 p.m. in Colony Center. Enjoy. Stop it. Just stop it. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Holy... There you go. There's your local angle. Free orange juice at a fucking... Fucking fuck. This fuck. is fucking like <laughs> a fucking fuck. Dude, fuck. I cannot so even deal. Yeah, man. With, with I love it. And uh, wow, Logan in Indiana, what's up? What's up, man? I'm I'm listening to this stuff. Loper and Smitty. It's like it's like Stroker and Shitty coming on. It's like horrible. How do they? How does that? Don't take over? don't try to don't try to cover up your bad fucking <laughs> joke, sir. Oh, Oh, my ass. All right, sir. I'm sorry, thank, ninja. Thank you. Let's, uh, let's. <laughs> yeah. I, wonder why, I wonder why you guys got kicked off and have no listeners. <laughs> what? Hey, uh, thanks, anyways. Click. You suck. Bye. Click. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. You suck. That blows. Uh, uh, the listeners that aren't getting hung up on love it. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to Norm in Philly. Norm. Yo, what's up, folks? Hey, man. You forgot the obvious. Spudweiser. Hey. Spud oh, for Spud Buckley. Buckley. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. See, that's how you talk. You tell someone they're a fucking asshole. No, no, that was an awesome phone call. Awesome. Well, well uh, something weird's going on in the phone. Oh, I, I feel it. Let's pick up the phone and see what it is. Oh, that's awesome. No, you go, you're a fucking asshole. But, I, you know, I, I like to think. Let's go to Dan at PA. What's up? Hey, what's up, O&A? Yep. Hey, I have a suggestion. Yep. Uh, remember how you screwed with uh, Tyler Banks? Yep. Why don't you guys do that with this radio station? Yeah, I think the pests are doing their own thing. You know. All right, punch it up. I don't feel like getting a phone call from corporate. Can you tell your pest to stop? We're really trying to get something done down there. I love that. You Whatever. Get, you the pests will do what they're going to do. I Put a I, call out. Huh? That's so great that you can just put yes, a call out. Do you remember the station got upset over the summer because we didn't participate in their um, their drive for getting school supplies for kids by filling up a school bus? Are you shitting me? What? <laughs> I didn't hear about this. <laughs> they were asking if we'd promote it, and I, I think we looked at it and went, no. Fill up a bus with school supplies? <laughs> <laughs> there is no way we would... <laughs> Fill it up with ninjas and <laughs> drive it over a cliff. Why? <laughs> you know how they can be with their ninja masks. They're very deadly. They're scary. They yes. Go. That's who they were for. It was, was it? That's who the supplies were for. Oh, uh, was they sending them all the way to uh, Japan? Yes. Yeah, wow. Every ninja looks alike. You can't even tell them apart. I know. They wear the hood. Right. Yes, they're very scary. <laughs> and they're silent. They can Love that about up, they them. They climb up walls. Yes. You gotta watch them. I've seen many ninja movies. Ah, uh, let's go to uh, Phil in Delaware. Phil, Phil, Phil. Phil. What? I live in Southern Delaware, and uh, I listened to these jokesters for a little while. We had a we had a true good FM uh, radio show before them, and in true ONA style, they pushed the envelope too far and got kicked off the air. Yeah, right. Kicked off the air. Then these then these guys came on, absolute joke. Fans pushed them off the air, and now they're down in West Palm Beach. I found XM and found you guys, and I'm not changing anything. All right, thank you, sir. I appreciate Punching. that. Unfortunately, we don't have any more Loper and Smitty for today. Oh, no, they're not on the air right Damn now. it! Why aren't they on? They, oh, get, they, they just, got on, yeah. just got off? We just missed Nice them. gig, if you could get it. We got part one. Uh, when we get back, we got <laughs> Starker Patty Gets High, part two by Derek. Oh, part okay. one was such a hit. And uh, we're going to talk about another asshole in radio. Some fucking broad that's stalking me. I'm uh, a little thirsty. Oh, <laughs> a little well, thirsty. I'm a little I have thirsty such too. A lot dude. to choose from. Can I have a Than Adams? Oh, <laughs> frosty cold. I don't mm, like, just I want, like Than. I want something too, though. <laughs> cold and distant. 
<laughs> Bobby wants something too. Can you give him a cock? <laughs> ah, yeah. Thank Thank you. For Bob. Oh, he loves Thank when you. it he loves when it comes in the can. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, of course. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He likes the long necks. Yeah. Like, wow. Wow. Long necks and big helmets. <laughs> oh, little Pfizer. Fuck, hey. This is what replaced us. See? Enjoy, West Palm. This is why reason number 285, why radio stinks. <laughs> Thank God I got a few money, man. That's all I have to say. Thank the fuck, God. I don't have enough, though. <laughs> I don't have enough. Really? Yeah, it went a little, you know... You could team a little up. beyond my means. You could team up with Ronnie. Me and Ronnie? Because I, I got enough. <laughs> I hope he's out. I so hope he's out. out. Look at Anthony's face like, oh, shit. Yeah, Ronnie and Ant would have a great show. I just can't <laughs> deal with this shit too much longer. The, the Ron and Anthony show. <laughs> they would do fine. That's all I'm saying. I just... We well, could throw him on with Black Phillip. Dude, it, and then... Uh, I, I, I'm biting my lips so bad. Today. Uh, with you, you freaks and creeps and psychos. And Annie, who I like. Oh, there was something about her I liked. I don't know what it was. All right, guys, we're uh, off to action. Have a great day. Later. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Patrice O'Neill. Hello, sir. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So what do you want to do? What do you want to do? You want to do some Loper and, and Schmitty or oh, what? Oh, that was so fun yesterday. You think I forgot? I didn't that forget. That was really fun yesterday. I should, uh, we should explain to Patrice. Patrice, which one is he using? This one? You. Oh, oh wow, look, okay. All right, I got you. Um, recently we got uh, kicked off West Palm Beach Radio. West Palm Beach, Florida radio. Right. Ask never to return. And it happens. You know, you syndicate a radio show, you're going to win some, you're going to lose some. Right. And we lost West Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, the, the PD down there in general wasn't into, into our thing. Excuse the squeak. He was uh, Thank you. not really into us. He wanted a local show. Right, that uh, kind of fit the image of the station, which you know they captured the flavor. They they rock. They're an alternate alternate rock type station, and uh, so we got replaced. And as much as it frustrates me, I do understand to a point. You know, if it, if it's a show where you you look at the show and you go, all right, not happy, but all right, I can but see what he's thinking. They should they should do well with that show, or I can understand as a business decision kind of a thing. Yeah, one of those deals. Right. Well. We got replaced by this show called uh, Loper and Schmitty, where he talks about his awesome kids. They, I, I got awesome kids. They pop Lope Weisers. You want because, a Lope Weiser? Because his name is Loper. Loper. So he calls it a Lope Weiser, and he just makes this sound effect of... <laughs> it, 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 it's beyond... Here, here's your Lope Weiser. There you go, Patrice. Enjoy. There's your low price. Oh, yeah. Isn't that great? Great radio. And we basically got uh, replaced by uh, hacks. So uh, One hack and an intern. And an intern. A hack and an intern. That's what replaced the great Opie Anthony show. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you have it. And we like to tell people that it's a virus spreading. Yeah, well, yeah. this virus was cured with a little NyQuil. I think they a found little, a, a cure. And a good a night's sleep. That's all it took. <laughs> I think the fever broke. <laughs> yeah, the fever broke. The little... I was running at 100 uh, degrees, and I it's feel better. Back down to 98.6. I think I might, have to, I might be able to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> so, we played some of their audio yesterday, Patrice, and, uh... Oh, the fans just ate it up. Loved it. They love the uh, Loper, Loper and Schmitty stuff. Who wouldn't? All right. Uh, well, we, uh... We start with more audio... Thank God. I couldn't get enough yesterday. Sam's all excited. No, it sucks. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, glad the TV shows I watch aren't 25 minutes late starting. <laughs> Dude, we were in an intense meeting at the other joint. Give us a little break. chit-chat. I love, I love that they think we're just kind of like... Da, 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 we, we're shopping on the da, walkover. Da, hey, that's a nice watch. Da, <laughs> just like twiddling our thumbs. Yeah. 
talking to the magazine stand guy. What do you think we're doing? I would like people to think logically. Yeah. I, that's what I try to do. Now, think logically. Why would we want to just sit around and waste time? Yeah, and not. Wouldn't it be a lot easier to just turn the mics on and go, keep the energy going and all right. that, keep the flow going? So if we're if we come in here twenty minutes after nine, don't you think there's a pretty good reason? There was it's a not reason. Then I decided to hit a diner. <laughs> give us give us a little credit, just a tad. Just think logically at times, and then you don't have to like bitch as much. Yeah, it's so much easier to go from one show to the other immediately and continue the flow mm -hmm. and the energy. All right, uh, Loper and Schmitty. This is uh, how they started their show to replace us yesterday. Yes, this is the first. We missed the first half hour yesterday, so we went. E Rock luckily taped it at home. Thank God for the E Rock. <laughs> yeah, so we got. They they did a like a pre produced minute limerick type of thing. Okay. Oh. And they kind of bashed everybody that had come within the last oh, okay. several years on the buzz. And uh, know what I love about this? Sam is taking this assignment very seriously. You got. We got like 20 tracks in front of me. Oh, you said Sam, we needed nice. More. <laughs> Never enough of these two. Is no. there is there gold in here or what? I think they're starting to hit their stride. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here's their pre-produced intro. They uh, they started uh, with yesterday. Okay. Get a load of this. Us. You see, for those who don't know me, my name is Johnny, a guy who loves booze, hot chicks that are horny. From 1995 to 2004, I hung here with Fatty, the lush and his whores. But something went wrong in the heart of New York when they gave too much power to a balding corporate dork. Then without warning, the plug was yanked. And before you knew it, the morning buzz was tanked. They said syndication will bring you success. But all that it brought us were complaints in a mess. They force-fed us, a six-foot-five Jew. But shortly thereafter, off the satellite, he flew. Thirty days later. Uh, can I tell you something, you fucking cocks? And, you know, and, and we're pretty honest on the show. Fucking Howard gave this station huge ratings, you <laughs> fucking douches. Yeah, at least be honest. Be fucking Jesus. honest. We are. <sighs> Howard had great success down there and then went to satellite. The, off the satellite, he flew. 30 days later, here comes David Lee, a washed up rock star with the brain of a pea. Lucky for us, uh -huh. his stay was cut short when they realized this talent rivaled genital warts. And then in an effort, some say was last ditch. They signed ONA in their comic midget bitch. Although the show was at times quite mannish. We knew for sure. If we kept it, we were sure to flip Spanish. So now here we are, back in our fair city, with a new morning buzz. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lopa and Smitty. The Morning Buzz with Lopa and Smitty. 103.1 The Buzz. So now that they have officially made fun of us, I uh, I just have one word to say, yeah, and that would be attack. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that that that's the first the first volley has been launched by them. All right, well, all right. If we had no well, listeners, technically. enjoy with our uh, enjoy so yesterday. Enjoy our no listeners. Yeah, in the coming months. Enjoy uh, how we had no listeners and how they will crucify you. And the station was going to go Spanish if we continued. Oh, really? How about you look at the last ratings? Yeah, look at the ratings uh, that now you have to uh, Could do better than... Could they have been better? Than... Yes. Were we doing okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. We were doing more than okay. Were they going up, up, up? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ah, please. This is, this, this is the oh, business we, uh, we're part of. Wonderful. And then they uh, went into this, their uh, wake and bake trivia question. Yeah. I wake guess. and bake trivia. I highlighted today because we don't have the whole uh, wake and bake trivia, but this question was just such a, it, it, they do it at like 6.15. So it's one of the, it's the first bit of the brand new show and the trivia question that they chose. Uh, it was one to remember. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say hi to Vinny and Poughkeepsie. Vinny! Yo, what's up, boys? Hey, Vinny. How you doing? What's up? Those fucking fairies got the nerve to call Norton a bitch when he's talking about his little fairy wife and kids. Well, exactly. Yeah, well, there you go. There he is talking about his, his fucking who gives a shit wife and kids. Really? It, it does, that's another, that's a prime example of a self important little cunt who thinks that anyone gives a shit about your wife and fucking kids. No one cares. Yeah, sure if you're in the market, 
for 20 fucking years, perhaps somebody might want to know what your life is about. Your first day on the air, you're, you're talking about how awesome your wife and kids are. Let me give you a little advice that might help your show out. No one gives a fuck. No one cares about your dopey wife or stupid kids. You got to do that in very small doses. Oh, very it, small doses. And at the beginning, in none doses. I, I'm kind of bummed Norton's not here be, so he could uh, oh. discuss how they called him a little bitch. Yeah. There you go. Please. Oh, All right, Vinny, thank you. Uh, Dan in Utah, you um, you have something about us being late today? Yeah, I okay. do. All right, go ahead. All right. <laughs> All right, he got us. F yourself. No, that was me. Okay. Uh, first ever Wake and Bake uh, trivia question. Here we go. It is time for a new segment here on The Buzz. It is called Wake and Bake Trivia. It is uh, your new host of The Morning Buzz, Loper and Smitty. Yes, uh, Jeremy Loper and Smitty Balls, a.k.a. the artist formerly known as Whisker Biscuit. It is good to be home. <laughs> Do you understand the, the outrage we're what? feeling, Patrice? What? <laughs> it's this just... What we, we have to sit here. I'm going down slow right now, dude. It, like, is, isn't it just... Oh, yeah. This is... This is th we have to... This is the business we're in. We got replaced by this. This. A.K.A. the artist formerly known as Whisker Biscuit. It is good to be home, my friend. <laughs> it is good to be home. Be replaced by Whisket Biscuit. Whisket, <laughs> Whisket Biscuit. Whatever. Well, it just seems. It just seems like Whisker Biscuit. They're following the rules, man. They're following the rhythm. They they kind of enjoyable right now. Like actually, let me listen to the chair, dummy. All right, uh, let's go to Oliver <laughs> in Texas. Oliver. Hey, morning, boys. Hey, thank you. Hey, I was listening to that poem, and I kind of made up one on the spot. I don't know how good it is, but here it goes. All right. It goes, uh, Loper and Smitty. They are quite shitty, walking around thinking their show's very witty. They walk around thinking they're very smart and thinking their jokes come with a knock. But when they open up their mouth, hey, here comes a cock. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. The guy, uh, the man, guy only had a minute to man, come up, up on, on the, the spot. I give you credit for that. All right, let's get back to the, the whisker biscuit. It, it is good to be home, my friend. <laughs> it is good to be home. And... uh Unlike the past two years, you can actually win things now in the morning. Yeah, so uh, we have a Morning Buzz uh, prize pack. Boy, is that another shot at us? I guess so. Was that a shot at us, Loper and Schmitty? You, you guys were dopes. Giving, you weren't giving away prize packs. Uh, see, that's uh, the, that, see. that's going to get the ratings yeah, uh, yeah, flying. Giving away Linkin Park fucking CDs is going to get the ratings up. Was that another shot? Fuck! What well, this business fucking blows? Yeah. Two years, you can actually win things now in the morning. Wow! Yeah, so uh, we have a morning buzz sure uh, I... prize pack. It's been a long time since the morning, morning buzz, buzz prize pack, pack is back, and yes. uh, if you can score today's wake and make trivia question, we will set you up. So uh, without any further ado, Mr. Smitty Balls, if you will, uh, sir, give us our wake Smitty and make trivia balls. question. The category. <laughs> yeah. What is I that? think it's a takeoff on like sweaty balls. Like you got oh. Smitty Balls. What a douche. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Ah. <laughs> prize packs. They're proud. <laughs> they're proud that they can give away prize packs. Prize packs. That's what they're doing. Does anyone else feel my pain? That's all they, I need to know. They, they, uh, I can't, I can't, I... They're bragging about... The fact they can give away prize packs, that they play uh, music in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Less talking. And they could, like, give people lope wisers. <laughs> oh, my God. And, and Smitty Balls is with them. <laughs> Who used to be Whisket Biscuit. Whisket <laughs> Biscuit. That's his name now. Whisket Biscuit. <laughs> Smitty Balls. God, Smithy this. Balls, if you will, uh, sir, give us our Wake and Bake trivia question. The category, lighthouses. I love lighthouses. Lighthouses are the best. Lighthouses. <laughs> Holy mother of fucking cock. Are you shitting me? Lighthouses are the best. I love lighthouses. What are you, a merchant marine? What do you love, seamen? You I love lighthouses. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make Lighthouse, Lighthouse movies! movies!
If this isn't enough <laughs> ammo for the the pests to uh, attack, are they doing lighthouse trivia? Yes. Did we get replaced by lighthouse <laughs> trivia? Dude, this is the shit we should have been doing. Lighthouse trivia. Lighthouse trivia. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Lighthouse trivia. What? I want to see if I can answer this. Do you have the question? Oh, thank you. Start the wake and bake trivia question. The category. Lighthouses. I okay. love lighthouses. Lighthouses are the best. Lighthouses <laughs> rule. This is the question, people. All right. All right. What U.S. state has more lighthouses than any other U.S. state? All right, stop it. All right. I got the state. All right. The state of who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, holy holy mother. You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna go with Nevada. <laughs> Nevada. At least I'm make for funny radio. I'm uh, uh, Schmitty. Right. I'm gonna say Nevada. Get it? We need something with a very long, rickety, rocky coastline. Um, I am going to say, uh, Virginia. <laughs> Have you lost your mind? <laughs> I'm play lighthouses rule. <laughs> They're the best. Uh, mm. Five six one five five oh nine nine one oh three. Mm. Five six one five five oh nine one oh three. Um I'm gonna go with uh Maine. Maine. <laughs> Not stupid. You're crazy. I'm going to go Aren't with... Aren't you a Lighthouse fan? I'm going to go with... Uh, um, I'm going to go with... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The state of... Who gives a shit? <laughs> right? Who gives a shit? More Lighthouses than any other U.S. state. Jeopardy music. It's a staple. All right. I'll give you a hint right off the bat. It is not Iowa. It's not Iowa. Not Iowa. So you got 49 to choose from. We that's like, fucking <laughs> funny because... See, that's my Nevada joke, but he used a different... <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the answer. Yeah. Well, right now they're not taking live calls because they're in the middle of doing 90s at 9. <laughs> <laughs> fucking losers. That's great. Uh, all right. That was a hint. All right. I'll give you a hint right off the bat. It is not Iowa. It's not Iowa? Mm -hmm. Not Iowa. So you got 49 to choose from. We are looking for the U.S. state with more lighthouses than any other U.S. state. If you can get the answer correct, we will hook you up with a Morning Buzz Virginia? prize pack. You really want to Florida? Well, people need to know. Donna wants to know. I mean, in the age of Google, this is really... <laughs> Yeah, a contest like this is stupid. <laughs> you could just punch it up and, and sound like a genius. It took 20 seconds, and I I got Michigan. It's Michigan? Followed closely with 90. Um, yeah. Followed closely by Maine with 80. Say, oh. And you guys laughed at Maine. That was a good guess. Thank it you. was a good guess. <laughs> Jesus. They have lighthouses and mooses. <laughs> Moosen. Where does the state of who gives a shit uh, fall on the list? Because I thought that was number one. It actually has 110. So <laughs> who gives a shit? Actually, 250 million uh, people. Well, that was day one. Uh, that wraps up day one. We played a lot of the day one clips yesterday. We are now up to day two. All right. With the show that replaced us in West Palm Beach, Florida. Here's their intro. Oh, it's wacky. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't, I can't. What's with the wacky music and the clapping? It's Patrice, go over there. Are those people There's, just hang those out. Those chairs are Is much this better. radio? Huh? Well, what's the matter? Oh, Patrice is I'm falling out. Dude, I got well, he had a burger at 3 in the morning. I remember you said that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not shutting down. This thing is shit. This is, <laughs> I'm not shutting down. I'm just, whew. yeah. Well, it's it's awful. All right, let's listen. It's again. awful. Wow. Well, maybe maybe we're just uh, bitter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's listen with an open mind. All right. Open. All mind. right. All right. Hold it. Hold it. Let me that's what the, that's what they would say. They're just bitter. So Let me they, get the mood here. Did they give y'all a reason? Like, what's the reason they said? They never talked to us. No. They never another really great thing told that happens. Anything. In, that's another great thing that uh, happens in this business. You just like 
stop communicating, even though mm. it's the cu communication business. <laughs> yeah, we're in communications, <laughs> except with people you have to communicate with. Right, and then they decide not to communicate. To all right, boss. let's all picture we're in our cars, we're driving to work. All right, you turn on the radio. We're waiting for your favorite show. No jealousy, no bitterness. And here's what comes on. I'm honestly, I'm driving. I want to know exact. I want to feel this. Okay. Like I would, not knowing right. that they're the show that replaced us. It's nothing like that. It's just a radio show. All right. I'm going to give a little dead air. So it, let's just make believe you're turning on the radio for the first okay. time, and this is what you hear. All right. Here comes the dead air. Here it is. And here's you getting ready to turn on the okay. radio station. All right. Yeah. Yes. What the hell is going on? It is the morning buzz with Jeremy Loper and Smitty here on 103.1 The Buzz, Florida's new rock alternative. Welcome to day number two. I am so glad day number one is over. It's always like you know that that nerve wracking show. Now that's that's all behind us, and uh, it is. Uh, it is time to rock. This replaced us. <laughs> okay. no, seriously. This is college radio. Wait, wait, wait. No, this no. This is college radio shit. Oh, I, I got to go with the fantasy of the... the oh, I'm sorry. I No, I I ran my car into a pole <laughs> uh, and killed myself. <laughs> the, I... Uh, see, what, what our fine... <laughs> What, what our fine listeners don't understand fully is the fact that behind the scenes, uh, especially myself and certainly Anthony as well, hmm. we're taking a lot of phone calls from people, and they told us this was coming, that uh, we were going to be replaced West Palm Beach, Florida. Yeah. Lots of calls. So you're sitting there like, fuck, man, they must, they must have like a fucking power hitter coming back into the market that's like one of these one market sensations that, that you just can't compete against. Frustrating, but shit. yeah, lots of conversations, but. lots, <laughs> and we were replaced by this shit in the end. And I'm wow, uh, it's local. They could give away prizes. Do, well, do, prize do, packs, do, do. <laughs> prize packs. Do, 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 do. That means you get more than just a CD. Probably get like maybe a DVD, oh. T-shirt, and maybe a coupon. Yeah. Let's rock. All right, here's uh, the. They hype up how great their show will be in this next clip. And uh, like you said, day one's over. Because, all right, first, it's the first break, right? You're like, all right, we've got to get through this first. <laughs> Crack that microphone. Got that. So I'm like, all right, all right. Just got to get through this show. Day one's over, and day two is going to kick ass. we got uh, bake sale tickets to give away today. I believe we got some uh, tattoo gift certificates. we got Wake and Bake trivia coming up next. Mm -hmm. A jam-packed show. Stay tuned, and we will let you know about everything going on today. <laughs> I can't fucking <laughs> take it. <laughs> Dude, I can't take it. I hope people could appreciate the, the suffering that is happening right in front of their eyes. This is Worthless. the worst type of hack <laughs> right out of college radio. Like, like it. it's so fucking bad. If this is where radio is going, there's no place for us. I'm telling no. you right now, there's no we fucking place. We are misplaced. Place. There's no fucking place. I even said it yesterday. Like if, if like Howard went back to regular radio and they decided to go back with uh, Howard down there, you know, it'd be frustrating. But you would at least understand why that would happen. Had success. He's got a great track record. Blah blah blah. Yeah. I know I'm saying that. People are like, what? Does he really lose his mind? No. But we do try to be honest on this show. But to be replaced by mm -hmm. this, I don't know what this is. This, this is hack small market radio that's not even good enough to be the top fucking show in a small market. Well, uh, Loper and Schmitty take a call that insults O and A. All right. It is one hundred three point one. The Buzz, Florida's new rock alternative. It is the morning buzz. Hi. With Loper and Smitty. How you doing over there, buddy? Chillin'. All right, cool. Uh, you know what? Phones are ringing. Uh -oh. Let's take some phone calls. Hello, the buzz. Yo, Loper, Smitty, a.k.a. Whisker. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> Who's this? This is Super Dave, dude. I call, like, all the time. I've been hounding John O for the longest time. I talk to everyone. I've been talking to Mahoney, Trey, you know, David, everybody. And 
I was like, you got to get these idiots O and A off the radio. You need to just bring back the old school, the way it was before. Y'all have the morning show, do a little bit of music in between. It's awesome, you know. man. Uh, five six one yeah. five five zero oh, nine one zero oh, three. Yeah, give them a call. We'll get in trouble for this too. Trust me. Hey, if you they're watch. gonna fucking bash us, you watch. Fair game, motherfucker. You watch. Fair game. Uh, Just kill. That's great. Take a call trashing us, and you haven't even done anything on your show yet. That's, yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. At least entertain your audience, and then, uh, well, day after a while, you can eh? bash whoever you want. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry to interrupt you, but uh, day two, we're up to wake and bake trivia again. Oh yeah, well, we, every day we played the one from yesterday, the lighthouse trivia. Let's see what uh, today's uh, wake and bake trivia Gee, is. I hope it's caboose trivia. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got to do trivia, man. Thanks for the call, bro. All right, man, no problem. I'll be calling you guys a lot, man. Cool. Mm, All bad. right, man. Take it easy. Keep it rocking. <laughs> Through the haze with Wake and Bake Trivia. That's a bong. All right, Thanks. time for Wake and Bake Trivia. Do appreciate the call from him. And uh, it is 619. Wake and Bake Trivia time. Go ahead, dude. Very nice. The category today presidents, the prize, a morning buzz prize pack. The question goes a little something like this Who is the only U.S. president? to ever been known to wear a Nazi uniform. A Nazi uniform? Yes. Hitler style. All right, cool, man. Wake and make trivia. Holy God. <laughs> Hitler style. <laughs> what? What? I said a la Hitler. Uh, George W. Um, I, I have no idea who would wear a Nazi uh, uniform. Woodrow Wilson? <laughs> no, that's before. Um, I I got the answer if you need. Oh, do you? Yeah, he was uh, he was the president in the early fifties. Uh, okay, and what was his name? Who gives a shit, <laughs> president? Who gives a shit? <laughs> hey, we got to do trivia, man. Thanks for the call, bro. Oh well, here's the answer, I guess. Oh. All right, 550-9103 or toll free at 866-954-ROCK. What is your guess? Hey, anyone get it? Uh, not yet, dude. Go ahead. Uh, is it Reagan? Yes, it is Ronald Reagan. Uh, first guess, very, very good. <laughs> the reason, if you're wondering... This guy is the epitome of wake and bake trivia right yeah, here. whatever, bro. Uh, the reason Ronald Reagan wore a Nazi uniform is because before his presidential career... He was an actor. Get out of here! He played a Nazi in the 1942 like film. A Nazi, bro? Yes, a Nazi, bro. <laughs> he played one in the 1942 okay. film Desperate Journey. <laughs> Have you ever seen that film? Yeah, like 17 uh, times. <laughs> okay, man. Well, hang on one second. We'll get you a morning bus prize back, okay? <laughs> hang on right. a second. <laughs> the hilarity is so it, out of control that he can't help himself. It, it, it's <laughs> the fake laughing, the fake applause because someone answered a question right oh god these are all so... the things we refuse to do on our show always have refused it, it, to do. it's what it's what like anyone would refuse to do why would you do these this is such small market shit fucking radio it it's just shit radio <sighs> presidential trivia Let's go to fucking lighthouses. Let's go to David, <laughs> Wisconsin. Dave. Hey, man. And oh, yeah, that show really isn't all that bad. I mean, all they're trying to do is catch the local. I <laughs> 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 Jimmy's pet. Uh, very good. Let's say hi to Danny in Louisiana. Danny, what's up? Hey, guys. Love you. Love the show. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, hey, man, like, Whisker Biscuit's got to be the stupidest radio name I've ever heard of since Sex Bagel. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it uh, similar? There's a biscuit. we got to do the top ten and a worst, bagel. worst radio names of all time. Mine might be in there. Sex Bagel well, is Mine tops. was a nickname no. as a kid. I didn't make it uh, for the radio. Sex Bagel. Sex Bagel's up there. It's the worst, I think. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Bubba the Love Sponge is way up there. Yeah, that's a bad one. Uh, whisker biscuit, whisker biscuit, or whisker. Schmitty balls, Schmitty balls. <laughs> Free beer and hot wings got to be up there. Yeah, that's Free pretty bad. Free beer and bad. hot wings is awful. 
All right, well, uh, Schmitty does the sports smack. How come I'm getting a little thirsty? I haven't had a, a Oh, you want a Lopewizer? Lope hey, can we get Anthony a Lopewizer? Hey, where's my uh, Lopewizer? Hey, wake the fuck up! Come on, E-Rock. He's writing something. <laughs> He's... I hope it's his last will and oh. testament. Oh. Ah, oh. Can nice. I, can creamy. I point something out? E-Rock's whole job when we get to XM is sit there and wait for a cue. And it could be two minutes. It could be 20 minutes. <laughs> Just wait, though. And if we finally had to go to him, and I, I don't give a shit oh, you're oh, writing. Oh, boy. I can multitask. Oh, boy. Here he comes, and he's pissed. You can't listen with half an ear and write at the same time? We were on the phone. What, do you, what is this? This is different than what? The other phone number, they did something to it. You can't call the 561 number anymore, so you have to call this number now. What is it? 866-654-ROCK. Oh, okay. Six or nine. I, I, what, I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm just trying to help. <laughs> what is that? I think it's, I think is it's that a nine. six? I think I heard him say it. I think it's a nine. Nine, five, four. Oh, my God. Shut up for two minutes! <laughs> oh, my God. 866-954-ROCK. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's uh, get into some uh, <clears throat> sports schmack with Schmitty. <laughs> oh, shitty. The game sucks. It was super boring, super sloppy. It was zero to zero uh, until 17 seconds left in the game when the Pittsburgh Steelers finally scored the a field goal dead. to Lord. win. <laughs> To win a riveting NFL game with the final score of three to nothing, this now makes the Miami Dolphins 0 and 11. I mean, Yikes. you know, it's not even fun. It's not. It. it it's. It's just. It's not pointless. Even. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll pointless. give you that. <laughs> you that said is it. fucking pointless. You said it. With the, the sports <laughs> music bed behind them. You said it. They got to pick the hacky beds for everything they do. Uh, yeah, well. The hackiest, like. It's all about sounds, remember? Jody in Columbus, what's up? <laughs> I just wanted to the listeners Tuesday. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. There it is. Good luck. Well, we got Enjoy. John in Albany. John, what's up? Hey, uh, you were up here for a while. In those questions for the, the whatever buzz, I think they were afternoon or something up here. It's the same exact fucking questions they were asking up here about Nazi uniforms and all that shit. Oh, really? Um, yeah, they're taking the same shit down there, obviously. Oh, bro. Um, well, that phone call we played yesterday. Yeah, whatever. Oh, right. that was fake. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, we move on to Schmitty tries to convince Loper to root against the Dolphins, then wraps up his, smor uh, his sports smack. Yeah, so Miami's 0-11. I'm telling you, man, like a, a few of my friends who are Dolphins fans, you got to hop on the root for 0-16 bandwagon. I'm not hopping on that bandwagon, man. It, it's depressing enough, and that's... Uh, I'm going to root against my team every week? Is that what you're proposing? I don't know, but you're kind of... Then I don't have anybody to root for. No, you're rooting for a draft pick. And you're rooting for the fact that your team is so incredibly unique in the fact that they went both 16-0 and 0-16. and 0-16. No other team has done either. I'm telling you, that's the way to go. My name is Smitty, the artist formerly known as Whisker Biscuit, and that is your sports smack. This is this is baby radio, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, this is like you know when uh, what was it? The Archies? They they put out the special <laughs> baby, baby Archies. Archies. Yeah, this is baby radio. <laughs> baby yeah, radio. Like the voice is like a little yeah. like baby. <laughs> I'm Schmitty. I have former artist formerly known. He got a little chuckle out of it. Yeah, I'm that he said Smitty it again about much. himself. They don't even talk like human beings. No. Human fucking beings. They're like, uh, uh, That's uh, why I think it's upsetting you the, the, the most is that they're, they're not. I think any radio guys that ha have that, you know, we. I hate that. Yeah. The fake it's, yeah. it's not a, it's something like you go, wow, how can you hold that up? And it's like, it, that's what it is. It's like, they're not saying nothing, you know, super bad or super good, but it's just. Yeah, but it's just the thing that they we were doing. getting some. We were getting some things done down there, and to be replaced by it's this such is what well, bothers me. Well, some people don't want reality, man. You guys are, you know, you try, you 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 speak. It's not you want a they, thing. They just want basic. They that just need safe that. Shit. Some people, because yeah, you know, oh. you know, most of the most of the guys that come on here, man, you know, comics, dude, they'll tell you it's like the people. If you out there with the people, they they're fucking stupid. Like they're not begging for what you give.
they're begging for two guys going, hey, Colin, it's comfortable. They don't want to uh, go uh, nowhere. They don't want to uh, think, uh, man. It's such a hack. But well, it's, it's scary business for, for some normal people to fucking well, listen normally. Hey. Well, we're on to uh, later in the show, Loper and Schmitty take a spontaneous live phone call. Then we get a Lopeweiser. <laughs> What's this about? <laughs> a spontaneous. Uh, Something tells me he's being sarcastic. No, they're just hanging out in the studio and they figure, well, I'd go to the phones and see who's there. And luckily, this person is cool enough to get a Lopeweiser. <laughs> <laughs> All right. More phoniness as they take a pre recorded phone call. <laughs> And I'm going to tell you, as a, there's certain comics, dude, that I get the same feeling. It's not that you hate Smitty and Low. There's 10 million of those guys. That's what's bothering yeah. why would you, you want, hate. Why would you want something different and real on your radio station? You hate the people. Like, yeah. you hate people for even accepting that. Like, there's comics yeah, out there anybody that I go, who likes this, I would, I would like punch in the face like you you couldn't i wouldn't be able to hang out with anybody that listened to a show like this no all right here we go the spontaneous phone call uh phones are ringing let's uh take a call 103.1 the buzz hello hey listen i got a trivia for wait you're asking us trivia questions like real quick wait what's your name yeah nice my cut. name's sunshine what do you want to stump the morning buzz wait do i win a sunshine morning well, buzz i do want to stump the morning buzz actually <laughs> but this is like some old school metal sh all right, go, go. Stop. Hold on, hold on. Stop. Go. Hold on. First of all, <laughs> there's a massive sloppy cut in the beginning. He goes, all right, uh, uh, he goes to the phones, and then she, she says something. It's a she? Yeah. Okay. Sounds like yeah. a she. She, she says something, and then it's cut off very abruptly because she must have said something that didn't fit the call or whatever. And then... Let me let me also uh, fill you in on this little tidbit of radio. There's no way to bleep a live phone call. If someone curses, there's no way you can bleep that. You can dump out of it, but there's nothing that can put a beep in over the curse when you're taking a live call. This is a recorded call that he is very uh, uh, in a phony way trying to pass off as live. My mistake. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, Sam. Sam. Uh, phones are ringing. Let's uh, take a call. 103.1 The Buzz. Hello. Hey, listen. I got a trivia for Wait, you're asking us trivia for questions? <laughs> like, real quick. Wait, what's your name? My name's Sunshine. What, do you want to stump the morning buzz? Wait, do I win a Sunshine morning well, buzz prize pack? I do want to stump the morning buzz, actually, <laughs> but this is like some old school metal <laughs> Or stuff. All right. Well, we can't All wait. Right. Go ahead. Bring that old school metal stuff. Stuff. Yeah. Stuff. Go. The boys are telling me that the lead singer from Quiet Riot passed away. Dead. Yeah. And we do not know his name. His name's Kevin Dubrow. Kevin Dubrow, guys. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, are, are you guys dear. like, are you up partying right now? What are you doing? Yeah, we're, yeah, we are actually. Oh, you're up from the night before? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> and we're getting ready to go out and get some more beer. Yeah, well, um, you might want to take a cab. Well, Drinking and driving going. is kind of frowned upon. And you know what? And oh, it's really great advice. to have you guys Good back advice. in the morning, man. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, uh, hey, here's a Lopewiser for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Jesus. You, oh, God, just you smack You talk about me. that drinking and driving shit if you work for an AC station, like yeah, a family-friendly hey. radio station. If you're working on a station called The Buzz where it's about alternative rock and living that alternative, like, you know, you're a rocker and stuff, you, you don't want your morning show going, hey, hey, safety first. He's got two awesome kids. He doesn't want them getting hurt from a drunk drivers oh drink and drive i don't give a shit yeah, I, I <laughs> oh i just don't think a low is worth that much they give it out for anything <laughs> <laughs> you're starting to think it really doesn't make much of a well, well, there's no value to it no i'm disappointed oh guys <laughs> Hello, Pfizer. What the fuck? Well, it's time now for the dirty word spelling bee. Oh. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the dirty word spelling bee out there on the bleachers? I hope Thumbs so. Up. Yeah. All right. Here we oh, go. Oh, man. Uh, Loper and Schmitty explain the rules and, and give the first word. What's this about, Sam? Okay. Well, it's uh, they get a little edgy. Uh, oh, wow. They kind of, I mean, this is where I kind of was like, you know what, maybe these guys do know what they're doing. All right. All right. 
Let's give All him right, a chance. Sam. Let's give him a chance. Here we go. Welcome to a game we call Dirty Word Spelling Bee. Here's how it goes, fellas. I'm going to give you a word, a dirty word. Where's the bed? Very simple. All you have to do is say the word, spell the word, and then say the word again in spelling bee fashion. Just like school, man. The first one to get three correct will be the winner in today's Dirty Word Spelling Bee. All right, Josh from Green Acres, you will be first. Smitty with the first word in Dirty Word Spelling Bee. Are you ready, Josh? I'm ready. All right, Josh. Your first word <laughs> in the Dirty Word Spelling Bee is... Scrotum. Scrotum. S C R O T U M. That's correct. Scrotum. Yes. Proper spellage of scrotum. Josh from Green Acres nail in the scrotum. Mm. It's not uh, spelling. It's spellage. It's spellage. And I don't think it's about the spelling thing. I really think it's about saying the dirty word. I think that's the edgy part. It's pretty outrageous to say scrotum. I don't think they're really trying to educate show. people. Scrotum. He said scrotum. Not as outrageous as saying cunt, but right. uh, scrotum. Okay. Oh. And 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 he nailed the scrotum. Yeah. What's yeah. that about? Like Schmitty Ball's scrotum <laughs> is in Lopster's mouth. That would be the loper, the lop lopster. He pops a lope cock. <laughs> lope scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> well, it continues. Uh, of course Go ahead, it I'm does. ready. Rick from Gardens. Your first word in the dirty word spelling Penis. is genital herpes. Genital herpes is the next word. Two All right, words. go ahead, Rick. That's two right. words. All right. Dope. Uh, genital herpes. <laughs> it's G E N I T A L. H E R P E S. Gentle Herbie. Yeah. yeah. Both good. of these guys very skilled in the ways of dirty word spelling bee. Holy mother of God. I I I We're almost done. I'm by beside the way. myself here. I'm just I cannot accept that there are shows like this on the air. I can't. I can't accept that there's a company and PDs out there. That are willing to allow our show to be replaced by this. Well, that's it. That's, let them, let them, let them fly. <sighs> Josh, your next word in the dirty word spelling bee is erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction. Excellent word, Smitty. Go ahead. Erectile dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> Just laugh at e erectile dysfunction. R e c t i l e d i s f u n C-T-I-O-N. Erectile dysfunction. Wow. Spelled dysfunction. Incorrect dysfunction is D-Y-S. Oh. F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N. All right, to Rick in Gardens for the lead, man. Here you oh go, Rick. God. Your big chance here. Dirty word spelling bee. Smitty with the next word. All right, Rick. Your next word in the dirty word spelling bee I like is how he does that with his voice. Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. Everybody loves it. Uh, that's a hard one. Why would you just say it's, everybody uh, loves gonorrhea? It? Hard one to get rid of. G O N O right R R H E A. Killed it. Very nice spelling of gonorrhea. <laughs> All right. Okay. I, I I gotta go. I can't. I can't take this. Sometimes you just let the audio play, and it says a lot. Oh, it's so easy just to yell and scream at this point, but uh, why bother? When you can just enjoy the awfulness yourself. This replaced us. This replaced us. Josh, your next word in Dirty Word Spelling Bee is fallopian tube. Fallopian tube. Go ahead, That's Josh. That's a dirty word. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. That's that isn't what, even a dirty listen, word. They, they should call this official <laughs> medical term spelling word. Right. Like, it's not dirty. It, That's not dirt. Fallopian me, tube is dirty. Let me, let me tell you something, man. Dirty. Yeah. Gaping is dirty. Yeah. <laughs> fucking right. Fist fucking dirty. Fist yeah. fuck. Let's think of a few more dirty words here. Uh, oh, man. You know Balls what? deep. Leaking <laughs> vagina. Mm hmm. <laughs> pussy. Pussy, pussy oh. cock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, stretched labia. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> anything but fallopian tube. 
That's that's a fucking shit biology. Ca- shit cavity. Hey, <laughs> hey, you know I'm listening to this shit and I'm and I'm and I'm you know bobbing in and out you know, but these guys sound like motherfuckers that used to be officially. Like, hey, how are you? Hey, Greg, how are you? And how are you? And someone said, you have to get edgier to come back on the air. Right. These guys are forcing edge. There's yeah. some people that do it naturally, like the sportscasters. You can hear the ones that do it like they just are, are miserable, but it's for real. <laughs> yeah. And then you get the guys that's trying to go, whoa, hey, I'm going to. Ah. These guys are just trying too hard. This is not them, man. Somebody put them up. Matter of fact, y'all should talk to them. Somebody put them up to fucking with y'all and fucking with Howard Stern. Someone did that. Someone said this oh, is right. Yeah, they didn't want to the do progr- that. They do everything the program director says. They didn't That's what do their that shit. their job is. So the program director tells them what to do and they will do it. They'll <laughs> fucking jump. Because if you second. notice they said O and A and then they go the comedy little bitch, which is in radio world, Norton really is the little bitch. Norton, his position is the little bitch, the the comic guy. But Norton's not a little bitch, so they don't listen to the show. They don't know that they shouldn't say certain things. They just go, okay, they have a little comic. They didn't go, O&A, you punk motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. We're coming after you. They say, O&A, left, and their little bitch, because that's who they can fuck with, they figure. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, these guys, man, are not... They're not. It ain't even their fault that they're on the radio. <laughs> this has nothing to do with them. This is they're a victim of circumstance, and they're gonna get attacked. And the company that's trying to replace y'all with them is gonna realize that they're not gonna be able to handle that shit well, every day coming off welcome the top of the head. Welcome to the fucking war. Welcome to the trenches. This is the fucking replacement that gets brought in and fucking gets shot. You see this piece of shit? <laughs> this look at this lump of shit. Lump of shit. Well, I, I gotta <laughs> tag him and tag him. I gotta, I gotta hear how you spell fallopian. I always wanted to know. Yeah. Josh, your next word in dirty word spelling bee is fallopian tube. Fallopian tube. Go ahead, Josh Green Acres. You're on. F? Fallopian tube. S <laughs> A L L. O P E A N space T U B E fallopian tube. Josh, you are absolutely horrible at this game. It is actually F A L L O P I A N T U B E. All right, we have one more here. This will be for the win. Oh, thank God. I've got to pick a good one. Dirty pick word. A, I mean, make this the best because uh, oh, Rick boy. from Gardens, dude, if you win, oh, we're going to hook you up with a Beowulf IMAX experience, man. You're going to get to check out Beowulf in IMAX 3D. You go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> they send you to the fucking movies. You save 10 bucks. That's wow. the prizes wow. that they were bragging about? You go to the fucking movie? <laughs> and maybe, nobody... Maybe they throw in some popcorn. You never oh, know. Nobody... God. Hard soda. Nobody would ever do this bit without sarcasm. Right. Who was really right. edgy. Yeah. Like there's no way. Like this is this is ridiculous and this is dead serious. And yeah. here's here's the thing. Listen to the callers, man. This is the fucking simpletons are like oh fuck. And they're not even, look at these motherfuckers, and they're not even, they don't even have a dictionary in front of them or whatever to just spell it right. Like, this is, this is great for them. They're, it's unoffensive because, I'm going to tell you something, dude, and they, I, I'm, you know how I am about this type of shit. It, it's just ballless. They're, they're, t- they're taking ballless. slowly but surely any sem- semblance of a guy being a guy. Right. And at, at, at a show the other day, a motherfucker said to me, he said it, what I said was inappropriate. And I said, any guy who says the word inappropriate, men are supposed to be inappropriate. Yeah. Any guy who would say that means that he's a fucking bitch. And the only time you should ever think about the word inappropriate is when you're doing bitchy shit. Like if you, you ever think you had to take a shit, and, but you just had to piss? And you was just sitting there and with your dick between your legs, pissing in the toilet, and you just looking around like, "Fuck me, I feel like a bitch." <laughs> this is inappropriate. This is inappropriate right now. 
<laughs> bitches think the word inappropriate. Yeah. These guys, for them to do this, they're so company that there's no fellas. I'm telling you, you should just get these motherfuckers a pass. N no, can't. No, can't get my pass. No, it's the way. I it. implore they you to give these guys to, a pass. It's the way. It I implore Anthony. you. They need to be spanked. And they and they are gonna be. It's not they even gonna need be, to be spanked. It's not even gonna be fun. You can hear it, dude. They don't want nothing. I I want to see them under fire and see how they <laughs> fucking react. They're gonna be cowering no little no, faggots. No chance. How can they get out of this? Let's talk about this. Ain't no way out. How can they get out? Uh, of it's this? not even about. It's it's a much bigger issue. It's just bigger. Yeah. What's the bigger? I don't what's know the, the first thing about these hacks. What's the what's yeah. the issue? The, the the issue is that uh, the this is where the radio world's going, and we're gonna fight right to the last fucking minute. They represent. They represent what, what radio what this is has become in this day and age. This business has become bitch shit. Bitches. Safe, who gives Bitches. a shit? Radio. There's a there's a trend to go back to local programming, and it's like okay, if you're gonna go local, then you you know, make it interesting. This isn't interesting local programming. Not to your local, but West Palm. This is not these, interesting to local fucking. It's eighty million anywhere. Anywhere. Okay, white people. You are. Dude, what are they doing? Not listening to alternative rock. Here we go. Oh, that's oh, is the yeah. alternative rock. That's right. That's this right. is the last clip. Trust me. Let's see what the <laughs> amazing word they came up with as the okay. final. Uh, and and y'all, I will say this: that you are both. Officially thoroughly annoyed too, because it's not even a a drop of really joke. <laughs> oh in, no no no! It's just it's disgust. Just disgust. It's, cause, cause you and a lot of people out there don't understand. Like I'm telling you, I'll say it again: the meetings, the phone calls. Like ah oh, fuck, you, you know, we were warned over six eight months ago we we're going to be replaced West Palm Beach, and I kept like fighting for us, going, come on man, and uh, when does it happen? Well, they haven't really found anyone yet. But when they do, you guys are going to be replaced. I'm like, well, that fucking blows right there. We're being replaced by a show they don't even know about yet. So they finally make their decision. There's a long time coming, and I'm thinking, all right, they finally found some fucking really good show. Heavy, heavy hitter. Heavy hitters. And this, and then you turn around and wake up, and you have to hear this is what you were replaced by? It fucking isn't... It hurts. Let me ask you one more question. Honest, this is honest to the core question. Has there ever been in any situation where you guys were replaced and you thought that the people that replaced you were good? Oh, I swear to God, no. I'm trying to think. No. No. Not, not one. No. Now, I mean, could could there possibly be one that would be no. where, where you would go, no. Oh, he was okay. Not not no. a one. I, I watched the uh, radio stations that replace us, and they're doing nothing since we left. And they, they were... Not that we were getting massive ratings, but we did uh, just as good, if not better, than the, the shows that replaced us at this point. I study this shit. Trust me. There's not a not a fucking show that comes to mind that replaced us. Not a one. The final word is blue balls. <laughs> blue balls. <laughs> All right, Rick Gardens, nail it, bro. Blue balls. B L U E. B A L L S. And I believe we have a winner with the proper spelling of blue balls. Hard. Rick from Gardens, you are the winner today in Dirty Words Spelling Beat. Josh, I'll tell you what, man, we'll hook you up with the Morning Buzz prize pack. Everybody's a winner. You guys tell me who's rocking it with right. music and the winner. new Morning Buzz. The listener. Looper and Smitty on one of the one. The Morning Buzz with <laughs> Looper and Smitty. <laughs> <laughs> the morning bus. <laughs> Blast it right over the guy <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> Who rocks? Uh, let us know. Um, Loper and the, <laughs> the morning bus. We, I was talking here. We got to use the deep voice guy to make this show sound cool. Yeah. <laughs> Ramon. More lasers to make these guys sound cool and edgy. Let's throw some echo in there as well. Oh, that was. Um, Let's say hi to Drew in Nashville. Good. Drew, what's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, uh, yeah, I, I think these guys make a pretty good point. You know, they want to establish a base with their audience, talking about their kids, and. <laughs> <laughs> See, everyone's nodding off. Yeah, Louie in Texas, speed round here. We got to take a break. Get into other things. What's up, Louie? Uh, well, Lope, I'm just uh, barreling down a Texas highway with about 80,000 pounds with uh, enjoying my morning Lopewiser trying not to kill anybody. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, well uh, just, change I the station. Do, I just see a connection here, though. I hope um, to the Opie and Anthony show. Is it just me, or do these two douches sound exactly the same? And they sound like Ralphie May. They sound exactly the same, and they sound like baby DJs. Like there's a weird thing yeah, going on. Like baby versions of they're, DJs. They're putting on that uh, that voice, but they if you put on yeah. the fake voice, first of all, you're supposed to you know go deep. I guess yeah. they can't go deep. Like, uh, it's Opie and Anthony. <laughs> ah, yeah, wow. Opie and Anthony, we're on XM Satellite Radio. Thanks for checking us out today. You go down to this level. Not uh, uh, I. Yeah. I've been I've been run out of twenty different interviews. Like you, you know, you go to some town, you go to and and I never have a good interview with those dudes. Yeah, what, what dudes? Like, and and at the deep, that, deep voice guys with the <laughs> always happens, Never fails. Ready? Yeah. I say something. That tries to be halfway uh, comply with the fact I can't swear and halfway edgy, and they go, "Okay, okay." Uh, well, Patrice oh, is going to be at the, the okay. yeah. Well, thank you, Patrice. He's going to be at the Chuckle Hut this at week. The, uh, the, the laugh cunt. Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. Well, we uh, we want to make believe we're edgy, but when someone actually is edgy on our show, then there's a real problem. We got to get rid of the guests right away. So oh, coming okay. up, we can bring in the fake edginess. We're gonna do your mandatory metallic. I want to thank Patrice O'Neill for stopping by. Make sure you check him out this weekend at the Chuckle Hut because they're a sponsor of our show and they bring the comedians in every Friday to be edgy. But we don't want actual edgy material. Uh, Brian Springwater. Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey, I want to spell cunt on the air. <laughs> Please spell it with a K just so we can all laugh. <laughs> okay, we can spell it with a K. Because <laughs> that would be outrageous. Off. That's crazy. All hey, right. Opie. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Sean, Michigan, what's Glad up? you did, though. I swear are you sure call. there's uh, two DJs there? Because it sounds like Jimmy Fallon in the man of the box. Hey, man of the box. Um, hey, yeah. we're black. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's what we got replaced by, and it, uh, it doesn't feel good today. Uh, let's go to Patricia, Patricia, uh, North Carolina. Yeah, uh, I was agreeing with Opie. These people are just horrid. I mean, I mean, they sound so fake and stupid, and at least y'all are <laughs> honest and intelligent. Y'all may be horrid at times, but I just was yeah. telling y'all about two weeks ago. I'm so <laughs> y'all. I just Does love anyone y'all. Anyone else getting the irony here, please. Love it. Okay. Y'all just love it. And tell Opie. They all sound fake and stupid. <laughs> stupid. Yeah, we sound all stupid, don't we? You sound fake and stupid yourself. <laughs> <laughs> tell Opie to make sure he gets a GPS for that stalker lady. Oh, uh. Make her wear, make, when, he, when he gets a restraining order right. for that stalker lady from yesterday, yeah. make sure they put a bracelet on her. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, uh, that it's weirdo. Creepy, man. All right. Thank you, Patricia. Uh, thank you. Bye bye. All right, let's see. <laughs> that was so fun. Fiking stupid. Fiking stupid. Stupid. Shane, Kansas, what's up? Hey, I just want to know when uh, Anthony became the pen and teller of, of radio. Uh, let me tell you how this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me, let me. Uh, that was kind of this funny. This is bullshit. All right, let me uh, tell you what's going on here. There's a bad edit that's going to happen right. You're going to hear the, the bad call, edit, which we and did the hear. beep you're going to hear. I wonder if that was way too inside because we used to have to cut up phone calls. Yeah, they take all the calls. Every call you hear on that show is taken when the music is playing. Uh, sometimes, as a matter of fact, you might even be able to hear the previous song <laughs> in, the in the background. Because they, which were, is they weren't smart enough to turn down the monitor. To turn the monitor down. But, but uh, all the st calls are taken during the songs. And then they edit them during the songs. And then when they come out of songs and talk, they play it back as if it's a call. And he's actually acting when he goes, let's uh, go to the phones. We got some here. Hey, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you're on the air. And then he hits the tape machine, and it's the person going, hi. Wah, 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 wah. Why are you looking at me and explaining it to me? Um, because <laughs> I, you are the audience. Oh. You are my audience. All right, I'm... good. <laughs> well, let me, let me do the audience then for okay. you. Okay. <laughs> He's making the universal sign for jerking off. <laughs> uh, I'm, just, I'm just fucking so taken by it. All right, let's, now people are still doing that. Let's go to Jeff in Tennessee. Jeff? Yeah, the reason why you guys are took off the air is because, uh, and I don't think took you guys him, realize sir. it, took you spend more than half your time whining and complaining. Mm -hmm. So-and-so said this, 
so and so did this. I'm upset with them. Who Safe. wants to turn on their radio Safe driving to work Frankes. for an hour? Say Frank. Nothing but whining little bitches. Say Frank. Complaining all the fucking time. It uh, gets old. We got uh, you. Yeah, Say really? fr Frank. Say Frank. Let me say Frank. Let me tell you where. Let me tell you where you made your mistake. No, no. I'm upset. Guess what? Guess what they said. Let me tell you where you made your mistake. You said who would want to turn on their radio to hear? And my answer would be you. Jeff yeah. in Tennessee. And then he hangs up. Let uh, the let the let the jury see that uh, he gave up. See, you're, you're not going to mess with someone else. Because he had I'll, nothing. I'm going to let you said Baba Booey for the next 40 minutes. You tool. That would have been fun. Just have him in the background. Uh, take other calls. You're not uh, going to win the OCD battle ever. Uh, Jeff in Atlanta. What's up? Hey, not much. These guys must be filthy, stinking rich because that voice I hear in every strip club I've ever been in. Wow. Yeah. That's right. Coming to the stage right now is the beautiful Portia. Now you give her a big hat. It's Portia coming to the stage. You missed the obvious thing. Though. Yeah. Hey, this is Loper and Schmitty. Loper and Schmitty, we're hosting uh, tonight. We don't get paid enough, so we got to do all these bar games. Here at the Titty Hut. <laughs> we have a lot of Lope Weisers. We're going to be opening up. Let me get it, a Lope Weiser. And we got Schmitty oh, Balls. Can't give me one at the same time as the song, you faggot. <laughs> <laughs> well, rest assured, we're drinking Lope Weisers. <laughs> as Portia makes her way out on the stage. No truth oh. to the rumor that um, Sean Taylor took the easy way out, huh? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. All right, well, let's, uh, we got a communique coming in. Oh. If you want, not from me. Use this from an industry insider. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An industry insider says, see, now I'm using it as an industry insider. Yes. That's the brilliance of me. Although I read the first part first. So you know who it's from. Well, not really, though. An industry insider says the following. I have never heard a show full of more cliches in my life. Ant was dead on about the sound effects. Hack. What's uh, MNF theme? What's that? Monday Night Football. Yeah. Oh, the Monday Night Football theme while talking about the game. Jeopardy th theme during trivia. Bong sounds during Wake and Bake trivia. Horrendous. They are more of a parody of morning show radio than your weekly bits. Well, we started the weekly bits to make fun of the fact that this shit actually happens. Yeah. Uh, what the hell are they thinking with this? That's from a radio insider. Industry insider. I mean, industry insider. It is a uh, a parody. Yeah. Of a, of an actual morning show. Like you listen to it and can't imagine that that's a real morning show. Yeah, maybe in two weeks they're gonna be like, "Gotcha." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now that would be genius. To just go, dudes, we got gotcha. you. Fuck. That's we, what we gotta do next we time. We yeah. All right, we'll probably be fired soon. And then when we, like, resurface, <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. And then we just get on and do that type of radio, straight-faced, all the production, not one bit of sarcasm. That's for right. For two weeks. And then we just go, uh, we got you. If you are listening to that and enjoyed it, get the fuck off our station. <laughs> go away. You need to listen to 20 on 20. They're too good. At doing th this badly to be putting it on. I don't know. Would we be able to even do it that badly? Mm. We should try one day. We should really just try a day of, of complete hack radio to see if it's even possible. If we're that good of, we could, of actors. We could do it after the break. Yeah. <laughs> we, need, we wouldn't even but we need to have beds yeah, that would... and, and questions. Mm. I don't know if I could do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's that's what that's what um is in West Palm. All now. the arguing and phone calls and this is this And is that's what, what it is. And this is what replaced us. That's it. Holy shit. And then people say that I'm self destructive and losing my mind. But I'm not losing my mind. <laughs> Smitty. You're it for yourself. I'm not losing my mind. Smitty Balls, formerly uh, what? <laughs> Whisker basket. Biscuit. Biscuit basket. Why doesn't anyone Whisker. ever see it my way? Whisker. Why? The Lopeness yeah. monster. <laughs> Forgot about the Lopeness monster. But I'm the one that's insane. 
Yeah, they told me that. But they replaced us with <laughs> who in their right mind would understand this. I don't get it. Oh my god. Well is that uh is that it? Yeah. Thank God. That might end the Loper and Schmitty bit because... Yeah, because I can't see anything new coming out. We played two days and they were exactly the same. All right, look. How about this, Sam? Mm -hmm. If you bring us Loper and Schmitty audio, it has to be like top shelf shit. Top notch. Top, top notch. None, right. of that, none of that cheap vodka. We got to go fucking top shelf. Right. No bar rack, Schmitty. No. <laughs> so we want a nice Guinness, something nice. Yeah. One more day of listening to, uh... But it has to be top. One more day. Top shelf vodka. Look, did you, no. I, I think I missed something in the bathroom, but I don't no, know if this suggestion is already made. Shit. <laughs> Why don't you guys, right? This would be yeah. fun. Uh-huh. And if I could possibly join in. Oh, it's just do an entire... Hey, hi, ho, show. <laughs> okay. Did you already suggest that? Are you uh, feeling all right? Yeah. I was That's in the bathroom. exactly what I no, said. No, you were sitting there the whole time. I'm, I, I said, fucking went to take a piss in that smelly bathroom. Oh, You might have Alzheimer's. All right, I'm just making sure. And I'd like to join in. I really would like yeah. to join right, in in the Hey, about, Hi, Ho. How about, about very hey, hard. Four hours of it. How about Hey, Hi, Ho, You we do it next? We I want to hey, do hi, a ho. whole show, but it's... it. We we need prep. Ugh. We need like <laughs> like hack prep, which is hard to come by. Actually, it's pretty easy. You just get that stupid. Oh 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 oh, oh yeah. Wait, let's uh, get this on the air. Oh um, my, right. Jim on Long Island. What's up, Jim? Oh, and hey, how are you? Hey, buddy. Hi. Listen, I I just had to wake myself up from a nap. I finally got through to this coal screener down there, and this jagass is actually trying to explain to everybody why they're good and why O&A like, really didn't take off down there. I says, I'd rather jam knitting needles in my eyes and listen to these two parents. Well, what was, hold on, let's be, what was his answer? His answer was that we really never got O&A down here. We were really a rock-hard station, and uh, you know, we're really trying to get the rock message across. Plus, he spent about five minutes trying to figure out where I was from. Apparently, uh, the pests are doing their job and getting through to them and uh, annoying them a little but bit. But that's not rock station type host. No. They didn't, they that's didn't. like, I'm not kidding. I, 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 that would be like, I've been around uh, a bit. That would be like top 40 in like the Poconos. Right. Uh, that would be I like top 40 radio and possibly the Poconos. Seriously. I remember listening to Opie on BAB when they were Dude, look, there. man. I've come. Man, a, hold on, hold on. I will defend myself. I, I've come a long way since BAB. Absolutely, absolutely but I absolutely. never fucking did this shit. No way. That's what I'm saying. These guys are a pair of assholes. I always try to be a bit edgy and and try to be myself. You know, I was I was scared of PDs and stuff back then, so maybe I wasn't able to give it my all back in the day. But I never went down this fucking road like they're doing. Listen, no. Guys, Keep up the good work. You guys are the best, and uh, the FDNY loves you, all right? All right. Hey, thanks, sir. Okay. Uh, back in the day, you, back in the day, I actually had a contest where the first person to kidnap a 7-Eleven foreign worker that didn't speak English got Grateful Dead tickets. And yeah. It wasn't, and it wasn't fake, like, oh, all right, well, let's get some intern or some fucking receptionist to play the part. F fucking two people, I think they were two girls, I don't remember anymore, dragged a lady, she was in her 7-Eleven uniform and barely spoke English. I had no idea studio, why she was there. I had no fucking idea. <laughs> and, and I handed the, the dead tickets over to the, the girls and we gave her a few bucks and said, get lost, get back to your job. But these are the people, look, man, these are the dudes that go like this. When you have discussions about things that bother you as a human being, these dudes go, hey, man, it's a paycheck. And and mm. what what's bothering you right now is that you, you have some type of ethic and it's fucking you up. Just don't give a fuck and go, hey, there, hi, there, ho, there. Unless that's the case, you're going to be all fucked up. These dudes don't, they're just yeah. going to go, hey, because there's somebody told, they may have pain in their heart. 
Oh, but they don't give only, a fuck. Can only hope, dude. We're we're fighting the good fight because we're losing a lot of markets to shows like this right now because uh, the trend is to go local. But I, the trend I, is to go pussy. That's what. But all I'm bitchy. saying is, if you're gonna go local, you know, don't replace us with shitty fucking shows and then expect me to understand and not uh, call you out on it. But if they weren't local, l local shows that who gives a shit? No they just did a break in the Dolphins. The Dolphins are 0 and 11. <laughs> who gives a fuck? That's what I'm saying. They're not. They. There's no national fucking dudes. They're in fear because they know local dudes will just do what they're told. Yep. You're I, not. They, local and, dudes will just go hey hi ho. That's what they'll fucking do. They're not gonna challenge the system. And you know what? Now we will get in trouble for talking about this over here. I will get calls now today. It's like, but what do you? Shame. And I would, I would say, what do you expect from me? Do you understand our position? How frustrating this this is to us. That we work our balls off to be a little different and, and interesting, and you replace us by hack shit? Hack shit? Why? All right, we'll move on to other things. Yeah, why don't we take a uh, break so I can take a leak? Yeah, leakies. Paging Dr. Leaky! Dr. Leaky. Hey, everybody, we're back here. Don't throw me off the island. <laughs> we're back here with Opie and Anthony in the morning. <laughs> 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 That's our good friend uh, Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. He uh, was able to uh, do that out of the kindness of his heart. He uh, did a little uh, uh, intro for us That's in our right. program for our new radio show. New radio show. <laughs> yeah, we got Patrice O'Neill as well. What a funny guy, man. We were just uh, funny, talking. Very funny, very, yes, very funny very gentleman. Funny. Uh, where are you going to be, Patrice? <laughs> and um, Schnuckles um, Tickle Tickle Bar Schnuckles Tickle Bar I've, Oh, so many nights down there Popping a few uh, Anth Anthizer Bushes <laughs> Anthizer Bush Anthizer Bush uh, That's right What do you like it? What do you like yeah. an Opweiser here? Here's an Here's Opweiser, an Opweiser. <laughs> uh, uh, We got Than Adams If you want some of that And, uh, <laughs> and, and Anth Still Light <laughs> If you want a light beer there's plenty of beer that we could actually use our names for. <laughs> uh, we need another uh, music man for our radio show. Well, uh, it's now uh, 10.43, and what we're right, going to do is uh, play our uh, trivia. Okay. We're going to do our trivia game. What is it called? Ah, uh, we didn't think that... Far oh, ahead. Uh, but yeah. We got, but we do got the music bed, so and we're, we're going to be giving away a prize pack. pack. What is the prize we're giving away today, Andy? Well, the prize we're giving away is the uh, Jimmy Fallon edition of Saturday Night Live, oh, featuring Jimmy Fallon, our good friend. That's right. Very appropriate, because he was in here recently, boring the yeah. shit out of everybody, because he wasn't allowed to do his real stuff, because we wouldn't allow that on this That oh. isn't nice, and don't say that anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. We're the new show here, and uh, I don't people confuse it with the uh, the old show okay here's a question and this one is about boats yeah. it's about boats boats what is the metal screw-like object that is used to propel a motorboat that's our question for the prize pack uh, once again. Anyone got that? How about once again? It is early. <laughs> you know, people just make it up. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go to the phones. Good, Alex. How you doing? <laughs> uh, good. How, how are you? Hello. How are you? That's what I said. Did you edit the tape right? Uh, we what happened? Enough, you didn't we, cut it we properly. We didn't play enough music in between. Oh, uh, damn it. You didn't have time to cut out where he said hello twice? No, I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Damn it. Okay. We're new at this type of radio. Uh, answer the question. It's a boat propeller. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's a propeller. A propeller. Wow. <laughs> you got to clap. Clap. Because people clap. Yeah. There it is. Fantastic. I don't know why. You are laughing. correct. I don't know why people are laughing in the background, but it sure helps the radio. I show. don't know. <laughs> Somebody is suggesting that we give out hepatitis as a prize. You want to give out the hep? <laughs> 
That would be something Opie and Anthony would do. We're uh, we're friendly here. We're flying to a last week. We're fake edgy. We're actually broadcasting yeah. to like more of a family audience. Anthony balls with you. That's <laughs> all I call myself because balls is a funny word. It's dirty. Let's play some dirty word spelling. Dirty word spelling. All right. Dirty word spelling. Dirty word spelling. Belly button. Ho, 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 ho. Whoa. 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 Am I going to kick us off Whoa. the air? <laughs> I think we're going to get kicked off the air by the boss. You're outrageous. That's a big one. Belly button uh, is the word. Belly button. All right. Well, we don't have any callers. Oh, well. It's a B-E-L-L-Y-B-U-T-T-O-N. Well, we, can, we can do our mandatory Metallica. Ah, uh, why don't we just rock? We can rock a little bit. We and rock. We can, like, uh, string some phone calls together, edit them, make them sound very smooth, and one, two, three, and then we can give the uh, prize away. Put beeps in them. What, the, what is this? What is this? Uh, just another little bit of bed music. Hey, sex bagel, what's this? Ah, it's our own sex bagel. Sex bagel. You know, I just want to tell people what I've been up to <laughs> the past few years. <laughs> one more. What are you? <laughs> uh, because we've been off the air the past few years. I just want to let people know what I'm doing. I, uh, I uh, have two awesome children yeah. that I uh, bought from Thailand, and I <laughs> fuck them every night. <laughs> Come on. Come on. That's not, that's like an old show. Uh, oh, my God. Let's look at uh, some birthdays today. All right. Uh, Bill Nye, uh, he's a TV personality. He's 52 years old today. Ed, why would I give a shit? Uh, because it's his birthday. Oh, okay. Uh, actor Fisher Stevens is 44. Fisher Stevens? Yeah. What, what movie was I, Fisher Stevens in? I couldn't tell you, and I couldn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a fine actor, Jaleel White. You might remember him as Urkel. Sure. How he's Urkel. He's 52 years old today. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> of course I am. He's 51. <laughs> they had a kidney problem or something. <laughs> uh, oh, that's great. Also on this date, uh, Jimi Hendrix was born. Ah, he would have been 55 years, uh, well, almost uh, 65 years young. Oh, older than Urkel. He would, uh, you know what him and Urkel have in common? Uh, They're uh, both <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. I didn't say, did I? Oh, that's insane. Wow. Oh, are we going to get so fired for that one? Oh, 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 oh. Speaking of, uh, we got yeah. Patrice. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Don't call Patrice on <laughs> That's not appropriate. Oh, <laughs> Patrice is going to punch you in the face. <laughs> Patrice, we're not really Ovi and Anthony right now, so don't hit him. <laughs> but you can hit the guy he's playing. <laughs> Reenact that high school scene, Opie, where you're with your basketball friend. Oh, it. Jesus! My soda just exploded on me <laughs> was, like uh, a big cock full of jism. <laughs> Fellas, I just uh, I want to get a. I just want oh. to plug my. my... Yeah, yeah. Oh, Patrice yeah, yeah. O'Neill. Uh, Patrice O'Neill oh. wants to plug a gig. The ninja in studio. Where are you gonna <laughs> be? Oh, where are you gonna be? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be at. Um, you know. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, Unbelievable. I just yeah. wanted to make sure people knew I was going to be in That's great. Yeah, give your plug. Give your yeah. plug. Uh, Chuckle Hut. Oh, they're going to love you there. The Chuckle Hut. Trace O'Neill, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, uh, one show uh, Wednesday, one show Thursday. And you can be white and get in, right? Is this uh, true? <laughs> I just want to know if this is one of those black shows where the white people have to sit there and go, Whoa, I'm the white guy that's getting well, made fun of. Oh, I Jesus. Uh, I mean, white, I can't guarantee. Uh, white people are crazy. Yeah, oh, <laughs> white people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll sit up front, you'll pick on me and fuck my girl. <laughs> you know, I've seen it happen. I've seen Wait, it happen. What show have you seen a guy fuck I go girl there, and when there's a black guy on stage, or the white guy sitting there with his girlfriend, he usually picks her up, and, and the wa white girl usually ends up leaving to Get that big man dingo cock. That That's you right, guys. Usually the you know you got the big cocks. Usually the posse takes the boyfriend to the bar and gets him drunk while, while right. the girlfriend's getting gang raped. And in then the they back. pick his pockets and use the money to play dice out back. <laughs> There's not going to be any gang raping. No, no, no gang raping. No, 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 just, just jokes, any of that man, just scary wilding. Just fun. Scary, so I know that scary. you people like to wilding. Go wilding. Wilding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what's that? that was in 1991. 
Is that what they call the kids are calling it these days? Wilding? Wilding. 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 That's when you just all go crazy and you throw garbage pails through windshields. Fellas, I'm just... Yeah. I'm going to be a chuckle hut. Because you're outraged. Chuckle hut. Outraged. Scary. Oh, wow. Look out. Look out. Oh, wow. Oh, no, that's scary. Look out, Anthony. We got an angry Negro in the studio. Oh, Jesus Christ. You guys might... You guys... Yeah. Angry Negro. You guys uh, mind plugging the show? Uh, yes, of Where's course. Where's our of angry course. Negro alert? Alert. <laughs> I don't think we have that. <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, E-Rock. I like this song. It plays the soul music for our soul brother. Well, just want to make him feel today. comfortable on the show. <laughs> yeah. See, we can relate to you, brother. <laughs> Listen, uh, how many more segments? Uh... I think I could keep this up. <laughs> 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 yeah. How many more segments are we uh, doing here? Uh, wait a minute. There it is. <laughs> oh. Hey, we, you, 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 you want to you get Patrice out of the studio? Yeah. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Look at him. Look at him run. Look at this. He's scared. He's running. <laughs> there he goes. Jesus. Yes. And scene. <laughs> and punch. You guys are fucking terrible, man. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Patrice O'Neill, for stopping in today. Thank you so much, Patrice. You know, it's all in good, it's all in good fun. What it's all fun in good, is just nobody having fucking fun. It's all in good fun. Yeah, just having fun. You know, it's uh, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, it's, it's like uh, uh, the Ebony and Ivory song. <laughs> You know, we can uh, we we have our differences, but we all we can get along get afterwards. Along. We all it's get everything's along. a joke that we say. <laughs> I didn't really mean you know right, the, to drop the n bomb uh, when when I said that. What n bomb is that? Like what nigger? Oh, Jesus girl, we're in trouble now. See, here it is. This will bring everyone together. Let's sing the song. Ebony and Ivory live together like white people and Nick. Oops, I can't. I can't use the word. <laughs> Fake outrageousness. One thing though, you never see the black keys on the piano beating up the white keys. <laughs> but that's what happens in real life, right, Patrice? Where are you gonna be? Where are you gonna be? Because that's what people want to know where they can see look, your look comedy. right there on the piano. Your brand of comedy. The white keys living right next to the black oh keys. Oh my god, where does that happen? <laughs> and look, the other white keys don't care. What about this white key is dating this black key and this white key is the father and he's all upset. <laughs> it's not hysterical, Patrice. You ought to put this in your comedy act. You ever think of putting this in your, uh, your comedy act? <laughs> Don't go put it on. I'll charge you. I'll don't make me charge you. I'll send you a bell. How do our listeners? I'll send you a bell. How do our listeners get tickets for the big comedy show? Yeah, the comedy show. Where is that? Uh, <laughs> the chuckle. Uh, what? I think there's some tickets still available. All right, tickets are available. And what kind of comedy uh, can the people expect? Is it going to be like Chris Rock? Are you like Chris Rock? No, I wouldn't. I like, like that. Chris Rock. No. Chris Rock. I like that guy. He's black, too, isn't he? Uh, how about Bill Just Cosby? Sure. A little Bill Cosby, Bill maybe? Cosby. <laughs> he sits down on a stool and talks about... He waxes fantastic about the old days. Yeah. Something like that? Like Bill Cosby? Bill Cosby? Not necessarily, no. I'm trying to think of what comic... Can I uh, give out the numbers? 212-555-0860. All right. 0860. That's great. great. Fat and what a guest he's been today. What he's, a sport. He's been terrific. What a sport. <laughs> he really is. Fantastable. <laughs> Uh, I like playing a, a sound effect. Oh, no, no. Chocolate right in the no, studio. I did. Oh, I God. I can't take it. Oh, I can't I take myself. it anymore. Oh, God. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Oos. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fun to do, though. <laughs> that only took up ten minutes. <laughs> that was it. Imagine having to do that four hours. Four hours? No. <laughs> Line of the date. Hey, where is that uh, Puerto Rican? <laughs> hey, Puerto Rican, can you get my truck? <laughs> Try not to steal the hubcaps. You know how they are with hubcaps. I don't know what they do with them. 
right. Oh, fantastic. He's probably too busy playing dominoes. <laughs> <laughs> I sure like that. I hope there are no chickens in the back when I'm trying to drive home with the feathers going. <laughs> oh, Master uh, Puerto Rican. That's what I call him. Dominoes, <laughs> uh, dominoes and chickens. That's all we know that's about it. the Spanish. That's <laughs> great. Master Puerto Rican. <laughs> that's great. Uh, I love those people. I love the Hispanics. I love it. Yeah. In the delivery room, when a baby girl comes out, and they pierce those ears before the umbilical cord's cut. <laughs> what is it with the pierced ears on the little Hispanic children? <laughs> and instead of handing out cigars, they hand out knives to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> they, they like stabbing they people. They became gravy on the side. <laughs> I understand. Oh, good oh, gravy. Wow, wow. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. We screw the ex embers <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back to us. Scott, Tennessee. Um, Scott. Scott. Yeah, yeah, let's be honest, guys. Yeah. This last ten minutes, yeah. mm -hmm. it, it, it's not even funny. It's annoying mm -hmm. to the point oh. where my ears hurt listening to this shit. Yeah, that's okay. That's what we were going for, annoying. We were going for we're annoying. Going or for that since the time you came on XM. We were going we're for annoying, annoying with we a little bit of sarcasm, and maybe a laugh or two, a la and 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 some some. Um, was there any irony in there, uh, Than? A little irony, yeah, yeah, a dash, it, a dash of here's, irony. Here's the, here's the thing, guys. You guys do you CBS show? I love it. All right. You hey, Tyler, I'm back on the drum all day. Thanks for the call. All right, thanks for the call. Thank you. Tyler, I'm back yeah. on the drum all day. Want to thank the Patrice O'Neill for stopping by. Make sure you check out his podcast, <laughs> PatriceO'Neill.com. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah. I don't want to work. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh, you jumped the gun there, pal. Oh, sorry. Here we go now. <laughs> yeah. I know. That guy was a whole fool. Don't want to play. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. Hey, uh, Patrice O'Neill. We've been checking out his podcast during the uh, commercial break. Yeah. Very funny, Patrice. How many podcasts you got up there? 25. But they're, they're like... Uh, Damn. Jacktober. Uh, not much Jacktober left. What's the date today? Well, my goodness, October twenty eighth. Gonna miss October. We might have to make it a regular feature. Not like, like not maybe, every day. Nah, like once, maybe every, once every two weeks. We just gotta change the name of it or just something. Just for filler. For, yeah. Well, no, it's just for some on those slow days. Oh, yeah. Original we'll material. Count on you to find more of these hacky radio shows. We can't like go a whole year without doing this. Whole we just year can't. without listening to this dreck. What if we go one every? Uh, one a month, yeah. one every two weeks. We'll I just, think we could pull that off. We'll call it Jocktober all year round. No, we, we, we we have 20 guys that work for Jack us behind the scenes. Vimber. Come Shut up, up with a fucking name that works, will you? You got it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Jocktober, everybody, from your friends at the OP and Anthony Show. I want to rock! It's a celebration of hacky, pukey radio shows and DJs from across this great nation of ours. The black and the bad and the sweet of the jizz, baby! There was a lot of energy there for some reason, but it's like wasted energy. Yeah. It's like sitting in your driveway in neutral and just <laughs> gassing it. Strike up the crapola, it's Jocktober. There's a person stranded! There's a show, there's a show! <laughs> it's stranded! Uh, my rebuttal is, the Obama. <laughs> I like that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? Happy Jocktober, everybody, from your friends at the Opie and Anthony Show. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's all do it. Ha 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 ha. There was no joy attached to them. No, none. I want to go backwards for one second, then we'll go right into Jocktober, because this is a good line. Jason from Gettysburg, he writes, If the best live show is about getting the entire crowd to do the same thing, then the best show was Great White. They got everyone to run for their lives at the same oh. time. <laughs> Oof. Too soon? That fucking ah. footage, dude, I've seen it's, footage it's of that. horrifying. Did, but did you see the footage of them by the door. They get, crammed in the they door? They get piled up oh, at the dude, doorway. It's horrible. I was actually thinking that last night. Like, it was, ow, I can't get out. My ass is burning. They ow. were trying to pull yeah. people out from the outside. They were just jammed in the door. Mm. Yeah, Ant can relate to this because uh, it was... I, I had to intro a lot of horrendous uh, uh, bands in these rock clubs on Long Island, and, and Anthony played in these joints. What are we doing? 
Oh, no, I was just reading one of the, uh, the headlines. Dinks? on a white out outrage. Oh, okay. Complaints about university shirt. Why? I don't know what it I don't is. Know. We're going to find out. I don't know what a white out is. Um, mm -hmm. But, Ant, you can relate to this yeah. with those rock clubs on Long Island. This should have happened way sooner than it did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where the bands would, would come in with their uh, homemade pyrotechnics. So I was the guy. Oh, you you actually did it I yourself. I blew up more shit in more shitty fire trap clubs on Long Island. What was the one on Deer Park Avenue? Because it actually, there was a fire on stage one night when I was there. Coincidentally enough, it was called Sparks. Sparks, which ended up going yeah. up in flames yeah, on, when I think no one down. was in there. Cheers was another one on Deer Park Avenue that was uh, just a, a tinder box waiting to burn. And um, I used to go to the, uh, there was a place that uh, sold uh, stage equipment and what, what not, and uh, they sold a flash powder, photographic flash powder. And I'd buy like bottles of this stuff and dump it into soup cans yeah. that were wrapped in duct tape. Yeah. And I'd have rocket igniters yeah. um, threaded through the bottom. And uh, on little clips, and just pour this on there, and hit hit a button on the floor. Boom! These fucking things went off, just a, ten feet of of fire and sparks into the ceiling, the rafters. One time at Augie's Checkered Flag Lounge in Kingston, the um the the curtain caught on fire behind yeah. us, and we had to like start stomping it out, and and. and and they just would allow you to do this. The like the guys that own oh, these rock yeah, clubs, they didn't, they didn't question what Whatever. Anthony Cumia was doing from Rock Cut. Whatever. They just assumed you knew what you were doing, and you, Blow it quite up. frankly, didn't know what you were doing. You didn't do a lot of testing. I had, going a, hand into the club. I had a handheld one. I made out of PVC that I spray painted camouflage. Looked exactly like a bazooka. I went to Radio Shack, got the battery, the buttons, and everything like that, and uh, put a pistol grip on it, and loaded it up the same way. I'd, I'd take flash paper. You know, the magicians use that <laughs> flash yeah, paper yeah, shit. Yeah. And wrap up flash powder in it, and then put a rocket igniter in. I'd have the wires hooked up inside this bazooka thing, way deep in, so it actually made a boom, loud sound. Fire shoots out the front, and I'd shoot the drummer's uh, drum kit with it. And then the drum kit would have another thing, and the drummer would hit a button. The second I shoot the bazooka, he would hit a button, and his drum set would blow up. Oh, I couldn't blow enough shit up. Did, did you have video of this? Oh yeah, this, Joe's what got the it. Fuck. Joe's Let's get that up on YouTube. That we could, I could not blow enough shit up on stage. Yeah. It was great. So when we heard about the Great White thing, which really sucked for those people and their families and all that, we all understand that. Oh, yeah. But my first thought was, this should have happened years ago. Years ago. Because people were getting away with murder <laughs> in these rock clubs. Someone commenting on uh, my uh, blowing stuff up, and yeah, then yeah. it just says, go fucking Kane. <laughs> yes, it was. Go fucking Kane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was the shot. Yeah, I was on. I was on that stage when I saw some flames hit the fucking. Well, I wasn't on the stage, but uh, after event. I was off the stage, is that you? No. Okay. Bunch of rot guts now. Fuck them. Fuck them all, right? That's Let's do Jack Tober. Jack OJ. Today, we're, we're we're into a new theme. Yeah. The beginning well, of Jack Tober was a bunch of uh, uh, couple acts where you weren't sure if they were married or not. This is a little crossover, though. Because oh, okay. It has a little of that. Uh huh. Well, we're also looking at uh, some of our old radio stations that we got kicked off. Right. Yesterday we were hanging out with Chunky on ninety two right. three. Now, remember? Oh, who could forget? Yeah, I think he's. I think he's trying to tweet me or something. Like, <laughs> no, really. <laughs> and I'm like, go away. Yeah. I really do what hate did, you. What did he say? Because you have no business doing radio in New York City, so don't even bother. He's got Yankee hat on. Yeah, good for him. He's from fucking oh. Detroit. Huh? He doesn't like the fucking Yankees. I think I got a tweet Detroit. from him, unless someone was fucking with me. Who fucking came? Says, uh, whatever. He was trying to be nice. I'm like, no, we fucking <laughs> trashed you because we think you suck. Why would he try to be nice after you trashed him? I don't him know. For no reason. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, he made fun <laughs> of him for sucked. no reason and mocked his profession. Uh, right. And then he decides that he's going to reach out and be your friend. And he's still trying to be <laughs> my friend. <laughs> I'm like, go away. <laughs> You're on our old station. We're gonna, we have to hate you. Yeah. You know, if if that new station was doing something, then we'd have to admit, oh, wow, all right, I guess they knew what they were doing in the end. Yeah. But they they just suck all around. <laughs> well. Wow. All right, let's go. So now we go down to West Palm Beach, Florida. This was a biggie. This radio station from the beginning hated us. I remember when we sat yeah. down with CBS Radio and they were showing us all our affiliates that they gave us. It was It was a sweet list. And uh, we so were talking. Sweet list. Do you remember in the conference room we were talking to all the PDs, what oh, they yeah. were doing in the individual markets uh, to try to you know get the show uh, up and rolling? Oh, of course. And this guy, 
was fucking pissed that he had to take our show from from day one. He made it very clear to the company. Yep, we could tell. He wanted a local fucking show. And the company at the <laughs> time, because we had Joel Hollander that had our back. Yep. He's like, nope, you're going to take this show and you're going to make the best of it and you're going to make it work. And we did make it work. We really did. Yep. Were, were we uh, just kicking complete ass in West Palm Beach, Florida? No. We'll be the first to admit that. But we were number one in our demo and we were doing very well. We were. And they didn't, uh, we went down there. It was so uncomfortable to, to be down there. There was not any fucking signs for the morning show at an event that 20,000 people were at. It's like, you sabotaging motherfuckers. And, at, and then it was time for us to go on stage, and they're like, all right, go out there. Like, there was no, like, when you do something like that, you get a Kenny or somebody to really pump up the fact that your morning show is now making their first appearance mm -hmm. in your city. But they're like, I right, just go out there. It was fucking horrible, dude. It was fucking horrible. And uh, when I was down there doing gigs recently, they wanted no part of me on the station. So fuck that whole station. Their cornball, their cornball fucking alternative rock. They yeah. stink. So we, we lost Joel Hollander and the guy who took his place, uh, you know, let's be honest with each other here. He didn't really have our back. So then he didn't really have our back. Yes, he did with a fucking knife. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to do, Dan I'm, Mason. No, he didn't have our backs. I'm trying at to be all. polite. No. He finally decided that, uh, yeah, let these uh, the radio stations do what they want. And if they want to do a local thing, then let them do a local thing. So we got uh, shown the door and they replaced us with the famous uh, Loper, and, Loper and Smitty show where they do the Lope Weisers for yes. all the people that are faithful listeners of this radio show, you know what we're talking about. And now they've added a chick named Randy. Yes, Loper and Smitty, since we last visited them, quickly became Loper, Smitty, and Randy. And the thing that makes it fun is Randy and Loper are engaged to be married. Wow, that's wild. Yeah, so you get to kind of go on that road with them. You know how exciting it is when your relatives get married and, and you get to hear about it all the time? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, oh, thrill, thrill a minute. I, it really is. I got <laughs> happy for them. Yeah, you just want to hear about it so I, much. Yeah. I got oh. engaged and married, and we might have spent an hour talking about it in Total. the last year. Total, yes. yeah. Wonderful. Enough. So here we go. This is the show that replaced us, which, by the way, uh, e -Rock showed me the ratings yesterday. They're doing absolutely fucking nothing. In the shitter. Hard to believe. So are we, we doing start? poor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the end, we uh, we're always right. Good. I mean, come on. Lober Smitty and Randy, morning buzz sweeper. Here we go. Live, local, and very vocal. You need to do something about your bo. The morning buzz with Loper, Smitty, and Randy. Deep voice guy. That fucking radio, <laughs> and it's just terrestrial radio in general. I fucking love Will you stop bad. with the fucking making it sound like it's the coolest uh, thing? It's cool. It's local, so fucking phony, man. Another one with local, but this time and local vocal. and vocal. Oh, that rhymes with what yeah. else rhymes with local? This is mm. this is not a top forty station. This is not something for girls or teenagers or whatever. This is Florida's new rock alternative. All right, all right. This is a rock and roll type of deal here. They're vocal <laughs> and local. It? Well, and local, yeah, yes. of course, yeah. Vocal and local, like the, the dramatic this, guy voice. This is the morning show oh. numbers? Yeah, you want me to do it? The, what is this for the whole station? That's just these two are for the morning show. That's for the station. What? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why is the PD still in fucking place there? And I know that stupid FMQB, and I like Mike, but they gave him some kind of award for, like, uh, being a good PD or something. Uh, I noticed that one, Mike. We're going to have to talk about that. Mike? Uh, the station that took us off the air about a year or so ago, overall, they're in 16th place. Wow. That means the whole station. 16th Cranking. place. Can you, I, I, I bet you we could get someone that lived in West Palm Beach their entire lives. And they can't name 16 radio stations in their fucking city. I guarantee True. that. This station's in 16th place. And uh, the morning show, Men 18 to 49, that was our demo. They went from a .5 share to a .9 share. <laughs> How bad is that? That's let's a just, nice jump up. Let's just put it this way. In our heyday when we were killing in Philly and Cleveland, we had 20 shares. Yeah. Not point. Not Twenty point shares, something. Twenty shares. Yeah. This fucking show that replaced us went from a point five to a point nine, so they're going up a little bit. Yeah. Eighteen plus, which should they should just destroy. Point two to point three. They are wow. They're fucking doing nothing. That's no, terrible. And that's no what one's I, listening. And you know, I yelled and screamed as much as I could, and you know, stupid Dolivero thinks I'm nuts and stuff. But am I nuts, Chris? Am I really? That was really? about really. You fucking... allowed this to happen. 
That, but that corny the show's fucking doing uh, fucking nothing. That corny format, the fucking corny radio teasers. It's uh, nobody wants to hear that shit in the era of iPods. Local. Nobody cares if it's local. I can't local. get local it is. on my iPod. I want Jim. local and vocal for Pete's sake. Yes. Where can I go for that? Actually, this Boo. has both. Really? Oh. It's, yeah. Not easy to find. You know <laughs> what? I get local, and when I pop on AM radio for the traffic and the weather on the way in. And uh, that's my local. That's all I need. And that's if I didn't pick up my fucking iPhone and just go, well, I could hit the weather thing. It knows where I am. Yeah. So it gives me the local weather. All the local information I need is on my fucking iPhone. Uh, I don't need some clown ass fucking hacks uh, to be local for me. Just check my widget before I leave the house. Well, yes. You know, check your widget. One button. We know our listeners are savvy. If they're in some, I don't know, let's throw a city out there, Columbus. You know, the only listener in Columbus, like Ann said, they're getting their local shit really quick. You can get it really fast. You don't need it on the radio anymore. You can see what your sports teams anymore. are doing, what the, what the big uh, local story is, and that's it. We're not talking about, when we talk about uh, the World Series, and I mentioned the Yankees and stuff, I'm not doing that to try to be local to the New York people. I'm doing oh. it because I'm interested in it. And, and, and if somebody in fucking California uh, isn't, I could give a shit. I'm just doing it because that's what I'm interested in. To get the local angle on something is irrelevant in this day and age. Everyone could get what they need locally on any electronic device, on numerous television stations, whatever the fuck. You, you, we're not as local... As uh, as uh, these people think we need to be, you know, all the talented people on regular radio were pushed out a long time ago. At this point, I'm yeah, talking about. Gone. I'm talking about. You know, there's there's a few exceptions because then now people call up with their favorite show that's still making it happen. But I mean, they Fuck are. Many years. There's not many left. Okay, mm. most of the shows are long gone. Most of the PDs that know what they're doing in radio, long gone. A lot of them doing the satellite radio thing yep. or new ventures. You know, they're mm -hmm. moving into the fucking. You know, uh, internet world and whatnot. Drug dealing, whatever. The management, please. Ugh. Management, those guys are long gone. You don't think that station's doing anything new or original? Oh. You haven't given them a chance. That's a good point. <laughs> Sam's dude. a dude. You're being, right, though. You're being judgmental None without we are. judging. Yes. None of these guys could think for themselves. So one person comes up with an idea. One person came up with, I know what we need to do. To, to, to compete with satellite radio, we got to go local. So then everyone, local, 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 local. And it just went down the chain, and everyone just started, uh, you know, uh, 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 screaming local at the top. Local. Of the lungs. That's yeah. the big thing that'll work. What happened to the Jack format? <laughs> where'd that go it's, I think it's still on I've heard it in LA like yeah. it still does well in one place I, was, I don't even remember where I no, was and that was the battle yeah, but that was supposed to be every fucking right. station that was supposed to be everywhere the new one is they're gonna try to do like FM uh, sports talk oh uh, why don't they fucking that's the new stop. one stop that's the new one you're gonna see a lot of Have sports fun. sports talk uh, going to FM stations oh you assholes guy talk guy talk guy 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 talk how about stop cutting the balls off the personalities that you haven't fucking hung out to dry, Still and let them be people. entertaining, you special interest pussies, Still and then people will be compelled to listen to They'll them. They'll offend people. Back in the heyday of talk radio, it was all about saying whatever the fuck you wanted, uh, living on the edge, whatever the fuck. Uh, now, you can't even get close, you can't see the edge. They don't allow you to get close to the edge. They're all pussies. The FCC fucked everything up by increasing fines tenfold yeah, to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars per occurrence per station. So it got it got the radio stations going. We can't afford to have a guy slip up and say something that's going to get us fined. It used to be the cost of doing business. If you got a fucking thirty five thousand dollar fine, that was nothing to a radio station that was making money hand over fist through advertising because the shows were cutting edge, funny. And what they used to call regular radio. What? A license to print money. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's that's right. how well they did. Wow. Now there's they really so said that much, over and over again. There's so much shit now fucking it up. So many hands in the old soup, super rooney, that uh, no one could do anything. So it's reduced to this, this dreck that we're going to hear. I'm mm -hmm. prejudging. Uh, and uh, that's why no one's listening. That's why they're at a point fucking... 
It's a tomb. Amazing. Oh you can't. That's really tough to do to be that bad. And when you're competing with so much uh, different media out there, uh, you got to start doing something special, original, new, different. And what do they do? They go back into their primitive fucking radio shitholes. And pull out the same bag of tricks they've been using that that just doesn't work. Right. And Sucks. The, I'm amazed the FCC and the government allowed that to happen too by oh. making the fines a lot higher because it just destroyed the business. They don't see it that way. They think it's going to be a public service. Now it's going to be oh, really? great, good radio, really? wholesome, local. Now they, they're going to have to deal with all you. these companies going bankrupt. Yep. Really? Have in the fun. End, in the end, what do they accomplish? Have fun. Uh, the gang, panel, let's get into this Loper, Smitty, and Randy thing from West Palm Beach. They're on the buzz, everyone. <laughs> yes. And as we begin... Now watch, we just start cracking up. It's the funniest shit we <laughs> I know. Watch it be hilarious. We're all jealous. <laughs> hey, Lopewiser, get me one, too. Uh, okay, <laughs> probably we, not. <laughs> we also need to take note that... Uh, how how often and how specific they are about where their callers are from. How often they repeat... By the way, he's from and because it's got to be local. Yes, they're hitting all points of Dude, when the you listen to the radio, you don't give a no shit. One if a no one cares. No fucking local town no is one mentioned. Shit. No one cares. Do you know how that PD is probably telling them, look, here's and and they didn't come up with that idea. They weren't like, hey, mm -hmm. let me make sure we uh, we throw in the callers. Uh, you just want a location, a, an interesting phone call. Yeah, the or, PD, or a though, funny phone call. The or PD something. gets in there and goes, well, gives hey. A shit. Make sure you mention where the call is from. That, that local angle is so important, guys. You keep plugging that. And they've probably got a sign in the studio. Guaranteed. <laughs> keep it local. And vocal. And vocal. Like, they probably got those so they What's see the it all the part? time. That's ah, when Florida! <laughs> <laughs> it's it's got to be, like, local, vocal, and loud. All right. Let's find out. <laughs> the gang starts a new game called Guess What Dead Guy Randy's Doing. Whoa. Whoa. Who's Randy? Uh, Randy is the young lady. The young lady? Oh, okay. right, right. Oh, yeah, we saw a picture of her, right? She's, she's kind she of a great right legs. We yeah. got no, we can't, we can't uh, really bash her for being a pig because she's, no, she's uh, very not. attractive. She's right. lovely uh, yeah. looking. Here we go. Wish now, you heard AFI. We do have AFI tickets, and we also have a brand new game. Name of the game is Guess What Dead Guy Randy's Doing. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, man. just in time for Halloween, kids. That's right, guys. Guess what dead guy Randy's doing. Can you explain this game? This applause. The, no, I said, oh, no, I said the applause. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Like the phony, the, the applause button they push. And the they just laugh at, at the, guess what dead guy Randy's doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that's a funny name we didn't even hear three seconds ago in the break. <laughs> <laughs> they like awful. They like that applause sound effect. I hope you enjoy hearing that. Oh, oh really? Yeah. There's a lot of it. They I like do. It. It's just like a festive atmosphere. Like There's a lot of people and they're clapping and laughing when there's none. Oh. Remind me, Kevin from Connecticut, I think, on my Twitter last night, he sent me um, two fucking clips of Dan Ingram saying cunt. Beautiful for Jocktober. Really? Oh. Yeah, you guys will have to get that for me so we can play for everybody. Pretty good stuff. Thank you, Kevin. I, I should have fucking wrote you back last <laughs> night. All right, back to this thing. Guess what dead guy Randy's doing. Uh, 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 can you explain this game? Because this sounds like a pretty borderline illegal game. Oh. Guess what? Is it a game full of... Bunch of dead guys, and you're the queen of necrophiliacs. Is that how this game works out? I'm an impersonator. Oh, you're an ah. impersonator. So you're going to impersonate dead people. You're going to give me, like, a voice impersonation. You'll probably throw some character oh, traits in there. Oh, I know what she's going to do yeah. first. Uh -huh. The station's ratings. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, guess what dead guy she's doing uh, down there on Okeechobee Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, down there in West Palm. <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, oh. That's right. It's going out to everybody at the Big City Tavern on uh, Clementis Street in West Palm Beach. Oh. Just want to say hi to everybody down there. If you're not looking at a map, I'm throwing hot coffee in your face. Oh, if you please. know those fucking shitty street names. What do you think I put in? I put in West Palm <laughs> Hotspots. Okay, good. And Google. <laughs> and she's stepping over that drunk uh, Billy Mac uh, laying there. <laughs> That's where Billy Mac lives. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Mac! <laughs> character traits in there yeah. and we're going to have to guess exactly what dead person you are impersonating right? Yeah, that's going to be tough Okay. there's been a lot of dead people this year yeah, yeah, I know. lots of dead people I got a list you got a, spectrum. <laughs> got a list I got a list holy I shit that's, 
Why are they laughing ex- at that though? I don't know. They they just have to like laugh. I think they just. <laughs> <laughs> she has a list. <laughs> they just randomly laugh and stuff. Oh, but it brings up another point we've made m- too many times for yeah, some of yeah. the faithful listeners. When you hear that hot fucking radio voice, she's the biggest fucking pig. <sighs> this girl is actually hot, and she's uh, she talks like this, but she's getting ready. She, that's one. That's not her regular voice. Yeah, it oh, kind of no? sounds okay. like a regular she's, voice. She's starting with her. She's uh, starting to get into character impression, like voice. Mr. Imus. That's I, right. I was I was out late down at John Bull English Pub on Village Boulevard <laughs> oh. uh, last night, keeping it local, <laughs> keeping it local and vocal and vocal. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, I want a lope wiser. Oh, do you want you. a lope wiser? I do. Do we get to hear some lope wisers? I'm not going to sit yes. here and give spoilers. All uh, right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> That's a lope wiser. Yeah. It's, actually, it's actually cum mixed with fizz and a swizzle stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Yes. Let's uh, meet the contestants oh. for the new game and get many douche chills. Here we go. <laughs> That is ghostly sounds, my friend. It's uh, Loper, Smitty, Randy, a.k.a. LSR, live and local. LSR. The game is called Guess... Wait, what did he say? Uh, he said LSR, live and local. LSR. Oh, okay. It's LSR. See, Loper. Do they got t-shirts Holy made? LSR. Smitty and Randy. It's That's LSR, correct. dude. And where are they? Live and... Local. local. There's local. nothing worse than forced... Branding, <laughs> LSR, everybody. That's fucking horrendous. Yeah. What are you talking about, brother man? I don't know. <laughs> Mother hucker, uh, I'm gonna fuck you up. They should that. fucking just <laughs> jump off the Flagler Memorial Bridge. <laughs> is what I believe <laughs> hope they, they should do. Hope they don't crash through the front window of the West Palm Beach Improv. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Actually, actually, it's the only thing in that fucking city that I like. That club <laughs> pays me well. Message to Anthony. We get it. <laughs> hey, I'm keeping it local and vocal. Actually, please do keep doing that. And if you have to explain that they're scary sounds, maybe they're not scary sounds. <laughs> that's the a ghost must... sound. Hey, yeah, that's, that's pretty like, yeah. scary. Oh, yeah. LSR live and local. The scary. Andy, aka LSR live and local. The game is called Guess What Dead Guy Randy's Doing. Now, normally this might upset me, but uh, today this Fuck. makes me smile. Randy's impersonations. Are nothing less than radio gold, so make sure you stick around. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We have Dylan, who is cruising down 95. Dylan. What's up, bra? Nothing, man. Uh, On my way up. What's up, bra? What's up, bra? <laughs> he didn't just say, what's up, bra? He certainly did, James. <laughs> that makes my neck itch. <laughs> what's up, bra? I want to pull at one of my skin tags right now. Uh, ow. <laughs> Steven S. Rebasher, LSR equals. Why Why didn't we come up with this? Uh-huh. Lousy shit radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that's LSR. Yeah, lousy that's shit right, radio. That's right, brah. Uh, that's that, brah. We hear that again? Let's, uh, I want to hear that because that's a really cool way to talk. No. <laughs> I want to learn to do that. No, yeah. we can't play that again. Come on, brain. Nope. I can't do it. How do you do it? Let's, uh, let's see here. We have... Dylan, who is cruising down 95. What's up, brah? Nothing. What's up, brah? What's, what's up, brah? And where is he? He's cruising down 95. Where is he? That's is not he? too local, Sam. That's a big road. 95, uh... We got a 95 be, right up here. Could yeah, be but... 10, 20 miles long. <laughs> Rape! <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> Rape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying, I bet the people listening are like... Oh, man, I've cruised down 95 before. I, I know love this show. I know what he's talking about. Yes. I'm bra. familiar with that road, bra. <laughs> 95 right now. He is my bra. <laughs> Shut up. He's my bra. <laughs> uh, stinks. <laughs> Come on, more laughs. I want to have more laughs. Yeah, we need more laughs. I want a wiser. Dylan, who is cruising down 95. What's up, bra? Nothing, man. On my way up. Good. Uh, Liz in Port St. Lucie, how are you, Chicky Poo? How are you, Chicky Poo? How are you, you, Chicky Poo? In Port St. Lucie. That's right. That's right. This is fucking unbearable. (laughs) Home of spring training. (laughs) She's not a bra, she's a Chicky Poo. Chicky Poo? (laughs) Chicky Poo. 
You don't like chicky uh, poo? No, not unless Why? not Why unless don't you a, like chicky poo? not unless a, ch- a fucking little chick is standing on my chin, oh, dropping something <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> chicky poo is that what he calls the girls? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Cool. Guys poo. in the bra, bras and chicky hey, poo. Bra. But he's got to be careful because his, you know, his fiance's hey. right there next to him. Well, that's right, doing a little flirting on the phone. Hey. That's no hey. crazy hey. chicky poo. It, that's something Randy's got to deal with. You know, Loper's kind of a hardcore metal guy, kind of hitting on the chicks. He's a man's man. Yeah, so. brah. Randy. Chicky poo. Uh, Liz in Port St. Lucie, how are you? Chicky poo. Good, oh. how are you? Yeah, chilling. <laughs> you all are going to need mouth buzzers for this game. Lizard, what are you going to choose? <laughs> Liz. Liz, all right. And Dylan, what are you going to go with, bro? Crush. Crush. Oh, God. <laughs> Crush. 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 Liz. Crush. Mm. Look. Look. Do the bit <laughs> and punt. <laughs> yeah. I actually mix. I miss fucking Maxwell. <laughs> I really and do. Punt. And punt. It's <laughs> funny. That's Maxwell. No, I've grown to like him though. I don't. I really shouldn't. <laughs> and punt. And punt. <laughs> I miss that mess. <laughs> that has bag. to sleep with a mask. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. He was a disaster, but at least he was fucking. He had the ability to be vicious. These guys are just terrible. Yeah, well, they're just terrible. Like, I would say he, he, he was at least a, 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 an ornery kind of a prick. Uh, uh, these guys are just terrible. This so is, he could be pretty mean. This he, is awful. Bruh. This is fucking awful, brah. Uh, hey, ONA, it's really funny when radio shows condense their name. LSR rules. Oh, hey, ONA. Oh, people call us O and A because they really don't want to say Opie. I yeah. I don't even want to say Opie. By the way, we we, we never came up with O and A. No, yes. that's it's, the difference between natural branding and forced branding. Yeah, yeah like was people just natural started with the fans. saying O and A. Right. No one's no saying one's LSR saying, live yeah. and local. <laughs> Who hey. yells that? Hey, LSR, why shut up? That's what Abner Louie yelled while Volpe was fucking with the plunger. <laughs> <laughs> LSR live and local. He just kept yelling it. <laughs> Did you notice that Loper called Liz Lizard? Lizard. Oh, I, I really, I think I blocked that out. Like yeah, fucking it childhood is. incident. Chicky, yeah. chicky poo. Chicky poo, what's up, Lizard? Chicky poo. Some guy, what is it, Riker Redline? Rike Red? I don't know what your name is, but he says, who is this guy, Pauly Shore? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bruh. Randy does her first dead guy. All right, finally we can get into the new, the new bit Come called on. Guess What Dead Guy Randy's Doing. <laughs> <Fuck. Okay. laughs> All right, so you know what you're listening for. Randy's going to do an impersonation. If you think you can nail that, well, buzz in and give us a dead celebrity. Yeah, yeah, that's the key to the game. It's someone that's dead. And are you only doing 2009 dead people? Yep. All right, it's a <laughs> Halloween spooktacular here on the Morning Buzz, and here we go. Guess what dead guy Randy's doing? Randy, kick it off. I can sell ice to an Eskimo. I'm talking about my Coke problem, people. <laughs> Get clean with orange blow. I mean, glow. Is, uh... Oh, Liz. Last oh, ride was Liz. on an airplane. Liz. Liz is in with the guest. Go ahead, Liz. Billy Mays. Billy Mays, absolutely yeah. correct. Wow, Randy. That is an uncanny Billy Mays. Thanks. <laughs> absolutely incredible. Mm. <laughs> that, um... Please, can we have a, a Maxwell after that one? Do the bit. <laughs> And punt. Bozy bozy bop, city bop. And punt. And holy shit, who's listening to this? You guys he know. does these impersonations. I swear, you think of as the real people. <laughs> this fucking stinks to high heaven. I nigh. Let's go to St. Louis, Jesse. Oh, this is priceless. Uh, Mr. Boo 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 Mother Hucker yeah. and Big Daddy James and the guy who answers a fart are bashing these guys. <laughs> I only <laughs> answered a fart once. Yes. It sounded like hello. Yeah, and you talked to it all the way home. You made it buckle up. <laughs> hey, we're not creep. We're not saying we we didn't have our, our uh, bad haircuts over the years, but we got we got through it. Yeah. Exactly. We got bad through. haircuts go. This fucking LSR <laughs> is the fucking is is the equivalent of beheading. It's the bold cut of radio we're listening to. You guys know Billy Mays had a cocaine in his system, right? Yes. I guess. You yeah. did know that. I'm glad yeah. you clarified. Yeah. Orange blow. I knew it right when she said um, I could sell ice cubes to an Eskimo. Yeah, you got it then? Yeah, because yeah. that meant he's, I had it. He, she was talking about a pitch man. 
Yeah. You should have let your mouth and buzzer only go one off. pitch man yep. that died in the last year. And his yep. name is Billy Mays. And... But ice cubes are never... No one, no one fucking buys ice cubes anywhere. No. Yeah, Hawaiians really. don't buy ice cubes. They make them for free. Yeah, you just tap water <laughs> and lie. ice tray. Exactly. Um, Boo. The new game's going <laughs> so well with these guys, they decided they needed to do another one. Good. No, this is, this is the thing. It's the best out of five. Holy what? shit. Yeah. I mean, it's not because, you know, anybody can have one lucky guess. Fuck. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, oh, Jamie from West so Virginia fun. has a very good observation. Jamie. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Thank you. Um, they're even keeping their dead guys local. I'm pretty sure Billy Mays was from West Palm Beach. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got to keep the dead guy local. Yeah. Oh my God, please tell me that's yeah, what man. they were doing there. Come on. Let's continue. Here we go, Dylan. You got to get in the game, man. <laughs> Guess what dead guy Randy's doing for AFI tickets? I got killed. By a gunshot wound from my stupid ass girlfriend. <laughs> the Steve uh, McNair. I'm an all time wait, leading passer. Hey, oh, hey, Crush Dylan, who's cruising out 95, is in. Go ahead, buddy. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain, Cobain did not die anywhere near this year, Are my you friend. Stupid. All time well, leading he, passer. He said it wasn't this year. No, it is this year. In fact, oh. it is this year. The first year. one was Billy Mays, dude. All right, go ahead, uh, Liz in oh, Port St. Lucie. Steve McNair. Steve McNair, absolutely correct. Poor Liz Lucy. off to the early 2 nothing lead. Lizard. Lizard. Chicky poo. What's you know, just the bra was still cruising down Lucy. 95? Yeah, yeah. Bra. Keep it local. This way they don't listen to the entertainment on satellite radio. The funny jokes or the good music. They want to hear the highway names. Yes. <laughs> you assholes. You're not and a good towns. Are you trying to say you're not a good radio show unless you name highways? That's what I listen for when I'm riding around. I don't want entertaining content. I want commercials and highway names. All right. In that case, I want to say good morning to the Long Island Expressway. Yeah. Wow. Huh? You got Live one in? You got one? I drove in on the uh, Northern State Parkway, which becomes, uh -oh. which becomes the Grand Central. Central. Fucking A. I uh, drove in on that, and uh, <laughs> I just want to say hi to everybody I passed. I want to say hi to everyone on the PCH. Hey. Hey. Say hi to everyone wow. from Washington Street to Christopher, back down around to Greenwich, and then back up around to Washington. <laughs> oh, my God. There's, wow. This is a They're really cruising around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say hi to everybody going to work right now on the old I-5 uh, down there in uh, Orange County. Yeah. I'll just have to take your word for it. You don't know so. I'm going local five. for California. California. You know what I'm going? Oh, I'll be on the ten today. I five. You can be on the ten and the four ten because I'll go to uh, LA later. Burbank and stuff. Let's yeah, say yeah, out of the two hundred two. Oh wow! That's Look at channel. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's got to be a two hundred two out there somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Now, but not the two. <laughs> the the two hundred two is California. The whatever Someone's you say. That's LA. Yeah. But I didn't say the two hundred two. The five. The five? The ten. What about the seven? Five. There's no seven. <laughs> you sure? Positive. They had a seven, but it was stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Randy does another dead guy. But then they tease the game will return tomorrow. This Fuck. game is so good that they have to spend two days on it. Well, they got more tickets to give away. Guess what dead guy Randy's doing? Hey, uh, I got a drug problem. <laughs> Wait. Uh, Loper. OG Smitty. I'm Jewish. Uh -oh. I can spin pills on my turntables. Uh-huh. You know where I can score some math? <laughs> Anyone? Can you can you just do that one more time, please? Oh, Liz, Liz is in. Liz, I got a problem with drugs. DJ AM. DJ AM with the clean oh. sweep. Guess what dead guy Randy's doing? This is what I think should happen. What's that? It's you know how sometimes... Wait, okay. he goes, this is what yeah. I think should happen. Maybe we should stop right there. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Maybe bomb. we should stop. <laughs> just <laughs> fall on the Maybe we should stop right there. Bomb. The fucking PD runs in with a bomb strapped to his, strapped to his chest. He yells, Allah Akbar, and falls on the console. <laughs> with a bomb strapped to his chest. <laughs> yes. Yeah, same as a bomb. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is he coming in today? Bobby's coming yeah. in today, right? Did I say yeah. Bob? Yeah, you did. It sounded like Bob yeah, anyway. You know what? They're, they're live. They're local. <laughs> Boom. Dude, you got your coffee. You got no listeners. <laughs> Boom. You named the highways. <laughs> yeah, dude. You say the highways. Everybody knows where Come you are. Come up with pet names. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you know what? The applause sounds busy. Boom. Low prizes. <laughs> Boom. Oh, yeah, yeah. A low, oh, low prizer. <laughs> Sweep. <laughs> Guess what dead guy Randy's doing? This is what I think should happen. What's that? You know how sometimes, like, when the comics come into town, you, like, introduce them at the improv? Right. I think Randy should do a solid seven minutes of her impersonations of dead dudes. It'll be back tomorrow, all the way till Halloween. Guess what dead oh. guy Randy's doing? How about what comics you won't introduce? Because they used to be on your station. Chris. 
and Randy. Oh, they play music? Yeah, they play a little music, too. Yeah. That's but they, they get to talk more than most shows do. That's, oh, that's good. Cool. Because they got so much stuff to say. We go to Jimmy James in New Hampshire. All the regulars oh. checking in today. Jimmy James. Oh. Come on in, boys. Rabity, rape, rape. Rabity, rape, rape. Uh. rape. I, I think we're being a little judgmental, passing judgment early. I think this bit has potential. I okay. think we need to test it out with... Um, Guess what dead guy Ted Sheckler's doing? Ooh. I like wait, that wait, 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 wait. Let's get our spooky music. We got to do it like they do. Got to have a lot of production value behind your bit. We got any scary music so Ted could do this bit for us? Mm -hmm. Well, give it a second. We should have <laughs> we gone weren't prepared for this. over this in some kind of post-show <laughs> meeting or something. All right, something. here we go. Ah! Oh. I'm moonwalking <laughs> with a hat and a glove. Can I use Can I use my mouth buzzer? You have to, yes, sir. <laughs> I am I am moonwalking. <laughs> my sister Latoya. I have my finger at the bottom of a youngster. <laughs> my father's hitting me again. I'm on fire. I have a Janet from Three's Company wig on and white Who's children, which aren't mine. <laughs> Who is John Phillips? That's excellent. A very good guess. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh, let's continue. Who's John Jack Tolbert? <laughs> That's nice. The gang opens up the huge mail sack and read an email from a listener. Listener in quotes. What? You don't think it's a real fucking email? I. R Are you questioning their fucking? Let's just say that I had enough experience with scorches email bag that all were written by a similar person. So Scorch had a fake email bag? <laughs> uh, I think I uh, saw... Oh, why are you giving away Scorch's oh, fucking course, trick? Of course. <laughs> Let's just say... He, some, just, he just wants to make it in that <laughs> tiny little town. Somebody's assignment in Syracuse was to go home and write emails for Scorch every single night. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Scorch. radio stinks. After my uh, classwork... So you remember. had to write the yeah, emails I for wrote, sports? I wrote every single email for right sports. And, uh, and what emails. did he want from you? Like some outrageous emails? You know, and he wanted to like... You got an example of one? Dear Scorch. <laughs> I, I, I could look them up in my old Gmail. But, love, love your show. But I had to... I, I would think about what was happening on the show that morning when I got home. And then at night, I would say, hey, I was listening to the show this morning. And then I'd say either Scorch or his sidekick, Paulie, was so right... Da 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 da. Oh, <sighs> love the show. Listen every morning. Love the show. What is so he, what, what is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> stop it? Or make so, sure you or, tell Scorch, love you, love the show. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't really get emails about his show. No, oh. not a lot. Oh, or I'd read an email that said, "Man, the brain cell stimulator was a real stumper this morning." <laughs> <laughs> or once once we got online listening, I would be uh, from all kinds of different cities and say, hey, I'm in New York, but I listen online. Or... Ah. <laughs> oh, God. I'm embarrassed to be in this business. Or Scorch. I actually have a Scorch. Um, Paulie, who I'm still in contact with, who's very bitter. Yeah. Uh, Why is about, he bitter? Well, I, he, never, he always thought Scorch was a hack and was <laughs> ruining his career. And eventually, <laughs> Scorch did move and told him the night before his last show, by the way, Paulie, I'm moving after tomorrow. Yeah, I'm moving tomorrow. <laughs> Even though throughout the whole time, Scorch said, yeah, I'm sending our tapes out. Don't worry about it, dude. So Paulie wasn't sending anything out. And then Scorch said, I'm going to New Hampshire tomorrow. I'm leaving. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. So Paulie has a, some resentment there. Yeah. Uh, he emailed me last night. And said that he has a clip when uh, he, Paulie and I were on Scorch's show of Scorch doing his Bill Cosby impression. Oh, oh, oh I gotta hear that. When, do Paulie, you have it yet? No, please. I gotta get it. Yeah, Paulie just getting pissed off. He said he said that Paulie was getting totally pissed off because he said it didn't sound anything like Bill Cosby. And I was in the background telling Paulie to shut his eyes because it seemed like Bill Cosby was in the studio with us. <laughs> He's sarcastic. I would, I, you know what? I would listen to that every day. Oh, it was such a great show. Was it a good impression? It was a great impression. Did it sound like Bill Cosby? <laughs> um, it was a fun to listen to. Did it sound like Bill Cosby? It didn't. It didn't sound anything like Bill Cosby. Uh, pudding pops. Uh, yeah, hey, uh, Jello, Jello pudding. Jello pudding pops. Uh, Look, I'm a, I'm, I'm a huckster. 
people. <laughs> Polly used to get into the worst arguments because Polly was so fed up with being on his show. And I would just sit there taking Scorch's side every time <laughs> and writing emails about how stupid Polly was. <laughs> what the fuck? It was a great time in my life. <laughs> We're ready for some Scorch audio. It's been way oh, too it's long. It's been too All long. Right. Maybe you've, been, we'll, you've been slacking. Maybe Sam. we'll highlight Scorch tomorrow. Yeah. Well... No, because that we don't need for Jock Tower. That's, just, that's, that's, for that's already a bit we do. Okay. The Scorch update. Okay. Yeah. Get that. Get, but the Cosby thing, get that tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Got to hear that. Oh, my God. It laughs so hard. My fucking mouth hurts. My jaw hurts right now. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Scorch, man. The gang opens up the huge mail sack. That's in quotations because Sam knows a little bit about the huge mail sack. And uh, reads an Say email. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> and reads uh, an email from a listener. That's in quotes because uh, Sam knows that's a fake fucking listener email, which results in Randy and Loper talking about their wedding location. Ugh! That's good stuff. Come on now. You want to hear a guy and a girl planning their wedding on the radio? Absolutely. All right, let's Desto. look into the Morning Buzz huge mail sack, shall we? <clears throat> this one comes to us from uh, Billy in Boynton. He says, what's up, Loper, Smitty, and Randy? How the hell are you? What's you know up? What? What's up? Guys. No, he didn't. <laughs> I had to stop because before we move forward, we, we I don't think we did the uh, the dead guy bit uh, justice. Although Ted Sheckler was really good. Of course. Richard from Washington State has a great idea. <laughs> I know what it is. He's <laughs> oh, waiting no. for someone else to suggest oh, it. No. <laughs> Richard from Washington State oh, no. has a great idea. And if he doesn't come in here, fucking Club Soda Kenny will drag him in here. <laughs> by his fucking <laughs> love handles. Richard. Good morning, boys. Hi, hey. Richard. Can we please hear what that guy, the virus, is doing? <laughs> let's, get, let's get the virus in here. And, uh, oh, my God, I'm sweating. This is such a good idea. Get the virus in here, and let's hear him do a um, well, we gotta, you know, we gotta impression. Get his, do we go with his music, or do we go with a Halloween theme for the virus today? Oh, I love his music. I like his music, too. His it's, music it's, is so it's, Kenny perfect. has just marched down the hall to make sure that there's no shenanigans today, and the virus gets his ass down it's here. It's piggy music. And here <laughs> comes the virus. <laughs> Oh, uh, look, here comes the virus. <laughs> Everyone get their fucking cameras out. Here he comes happy, you think he's happy to be coming down <laughs> the hall? Yeah, <laughs> no, not at all. Here he comes. We're all, we're all just watching him walk. Here comes the virus. Uh, oh, he just flipped the bird to everybody in the room. Yeah, well, like that's good. Jimmy, he's, he's happy to be here. Come on. Virus hat. <laughs> the virus. Here he is. Hey, it's the virus. Hey, virus. Here's the virus. What's going on, yeah. virus? Yes, comedy gold every time. <laughs> Virus, you know the bit we're doing today? Yeah, I heard it, guys. All right, you're going to do like a dead guy impression, and we got to figure out who you're doing, okay? Yeah, who it is based on your subtle clues. That's right. Subtle. That you get. Very subtle. Here we go. The Virus. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Um... <clears throat> I've done worse than kill you, Admiral. I've hurt you. From hell's heart, I stab at thee. It's a... Oh, okay. I, I know who it is, but... I don't. It's yeah, like can a we get a little more? It's a movie line. Let's Welcome to Fantasy Island. He's doing impressions. Real subtle. You're not supposed to... Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to do... Like... Describe yourself. Yeah, yeah. You, clues. you would say something more like, I sell cars with rich Corinthian leather yes, right. as the seats. I was in a movie with uh, William Shatner. I wore you a white suit. You don't do the, yeah, you don't do the actual fucking lines. <laughs> I'm surprised we Hold haven't on. learned. I'm not good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do appreciate a good Wrath of Khan uh, quote. Yeah. Do another one. Who you got? Yeah, you should do a different one. Yeah, I think so, absolutely. Montalban. That's right. By the uh, way. We need a dead, dead, dead guy. Out. Some clues. Come on, clues. Go. Start. All right, let's go. Here comes. What clues you got? Let's go. The virus doing the dead guy uh, a bit. Come on. Everybody listen. What clues you got? Boom. Don't do Michael Jackson. We just did him. Boom. Yeah. Go. Do, 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 do. Uh, the dead guy. Come on. Who you got? Oh. Um, don't do Billy Mays either. <clears throat> Here comes the virus. I used to sell Alpo dog food. 
I might show up at your house with a really big check. Well, you know, it ain't serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got that one too. Ah, I didn't get it. More bad. clues. That's not bad. Yeah, give uh, more clues than that one. I don't Iris. get it. I got it, but keep I don't going. Get it. Um, I used to host Star Search. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be a clue. Come on, who? Go. More clues. <laughs> I was known for my trademark laugh. <laughs> hey <-o. laughs> Uh Roland Campos? <laughs> oh. Would that be uh, Ed McMahon virus? That would oh. be correct. Cool. Good, good thing you didn't mention his sidekick for Carson. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mentioned Alpo before the Tonight Show. <laughs> All right, get out. Oh, yeah. Get Can we have one more, please? No, no. no. Come on. He yeah. actually knows too much. It took 40 minutes to get two out of him. I know. He stinks. He does, he does rot. Like, he rots. Walk down the hall, he's not happy. <laughs> there he goes. Yesterday, the virus told me this was the one bit that makes him think about taking his own life. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> out of all cool. the bits Glad that he's done. Uh, Our listeners, so it's, you know why? Because it's an absolute uh, validation of every fear that he has, that he's just a lump. <laughs> Did you know when the virus was a little boy, he wanted to be uh, the host of The Tonight Show? Teddy. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's you true. actually said that? I've been sitting on that one for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We should have had him do some monologue jokes. Oh. God damn it. Now, is this the virus or is this, you know, no, uh, e rock Young sex bagel, when he was growing up, wanted to be a, uh, a late night talk show host. Oof. He did, did he? Like uh, Johnny Carson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The virus rules. It's He's the best. my favorite thing right yeah. now. Yeah, that's that's something. All right, why don't we take a break and we'll continue with Jocktober with the uh, the Lopewiser show from West Palm Beach, Florida. Okay, okay. it's, it's and, uh, LSR, LSR, live, live and local. Yeah, just sure add an is. O and an E, yeah, and another <laughs> S. <laughs> Too much for the joke, I understand. Wait, why? <laughs> uh, spelling joke. Yeah, a little spelling joke for the spellers out there. <laughs> All right, quick yeah, break. We'll continue with Jacktober. Stay there. Bah. Let's get back into Jacktober. Uh, do we need another sweeper, or we just go into it? I just go into it. All right, let's do this. All right, second half of Jacktober. Uh, Bobby, if you want to sit out, we understand, you know. Yeah, we yeah. put some of you guys in bad positions, because we know you got to do a lot of radio out there when you're uh, trying to Bob sell gigs. Bob has not bad-mouthed these guys at all. All right. It, but if you feel uh, like doing it in fun. I, thi I think I actually like these guys. They were nice to me. Yeah, well... <laughs> I'll just shut up. <laughs> Jesus, Bobby. <laughs> just sit down. <laughs> Don't embarrass yourself. Yeah. The rest of it's good. <laughs> Are they bad? Oh, oh, oh. We just didn't like that one bit. The rest, to give the rest of it a chance. All right, we'll do that, Sam. So we move on with Jocktober, looking at the show that replaced us uh, down there in West Palm Beach, Florida. Loper, Smitty, and Randy on Florida's new rock alternative, Buzz 103.1. Yeah. New rock alternative. Great. <laughs> Yuck. Talk, Sam. I gotta figure out what mics to turn off. Alternative well, to good. I'm talking into this. All right, turn there, me yeah. off. There, I'm All back right, on now. Take some of the noise out of the room. Uh, the gang opens the huge mail sack and read an email from a listener, which results in Randy and Loper talking about their wedding location. Now, Sam has uh, told us here that there is no huge mail sack and there is no listener email. All this was made up for the purpose of them setting up, uh, talking about their own wedding for their radio show. You can tell in the beginning of the email, the greeting is obviously written by somebody who works at the station because that's the exact greeting that I would start Scorch's emails with. All right, perfect. All right, let's look into the Morning Buzz huge mail sack, shall we? <clears throat> this one comes to us from uh, Billy in Boynton. He says, what's up, Loper, Smitty, and Randy? How the hell are you? Love the show. Listen every single day, and uh, I couldn't help but <laughs> continue uh, to want. What's wrong? Self-serving. <laughs> what's wrong? Crap. You don't think that particular listener listens every day? I'm surprised the listener didn't mention the call letters. <laughs> 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 Fucking assholes. I love your live and local. <laughs> yeah, I love the. Uh, what Great. Was it, what are they? Uh, L uh, LSR. Yeah. And would you ever write an email and actually, like, use the term, how the hell are you? No. 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 No person would do that. No. Were... Yeah, listen to the email and then picture actually writing it. You Nobody would. No Nobody would. would. 
No one would do that. Uh, I couldn't help but continue to wonder what Randy and Loper, outside of the crazy sex romp, got accomplished on their weekend to the Keys. That's uh, Billy and Boynton. I guess he's referring to uh, us going down to look for a wedding location. Oh. Like he's wondering if we chose a location outside of our sex romp. Did you guys succeed? Which wasn't a sex romp, by the way, Billy. All right? I no, don't know no. if we've really succeeded yet. We haven't, I guess. Like, so is it definitely going to be at the Keys, 100%? I don't know that for sure. Ooh. I mean, I would say what, Rand? Like 90%? I guess 90%, yeah. you know? I mean, if anyone knows anywhere cool around here, you know, would we're, the, would we're the, open. Would the t- so the 10% wouldn't be, like, something more crazy like Puerto Rico or no. Costa Rica. No. It would be something more local. Absolutely. Just- wow. You know, I listening listen to, to wedding to planning <sighs> is... Uh, and, they, and, you know, they had <laughs> the local angle. Of course they did. Why would they would open for the possibility that maybe they get married locally? Local. <laughs> Everything's got to be Enough local. Enough about the local. Fuck the local. We lost Jimmy. Right. He can't handle this anymore. <laughs> well, <why? laughs> He's done. He just walks out. <laughs> why would you want to get married any place other than West Palm, Florida? Uh, yeah, that's true. Well, yeah. All yeah. right. Well. Card the spot. Uh, the wedding talk continues with, with no bit. They solicit calls asking for wedding locations. Holy shit. It's pretty gone. Yeah, this is good stuff now, I bet. a boy. Here we go. Hope they get some funny ones. Oh. Do you know, like, there's all kinds of things people don't know. You know, it's cheaper to have a wedding on a Friday than it is on a Saturday. Yeah, that is Pause true. that for why? a second. I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I wonder why. I don't know. Fodder for conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been to a Friday wedding? No. Holy I wouldn't shit. remember. I blo- Who cares? <laughs> yeah, what Who gives a like fuck? Day it's on. The church is at 11. Really? Is it? We have to work. Cocktail hour, t- 2 in the afternoon. Really? That's probably oh, that's How about like... you spend a few a few bucks on your wedding and exactly. make it on a Saturday Shizzlers. and we're all off? My sister, my sister got married on a Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what kind of deal oh, did thanks. she get? That's convenient. I got married on a Tuesday. Uh, See, that's just Tuesday. selfish. I bopped it on the beach, though. At least he oh, no, didn't that's drag different. us yeah, all there. That's but Sam's sister was just being fucking a total that's piece selfish, of shit. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> she got married in the city. She just assumed that everyone wants to take a fucking vacation day to go to her wedding. Yeah, that's not that nice. Day. And it was like, yeah, it was just what you said. It was the early afternoon church into the reception, right. and then the reception goes to one o'clock in the People morning. People count so their you... fucking vacation days on their on their one hand, and now they go, oh great, I got to use one for someone's wedding. <laughs> but it wasn't even yeah. the, the Friday, not to I don't know, do something fucking cool for the day. Because at least on the Friday, if you go to the reception until one o'clock, you know, right? But you do it on a, on a Wednesday, you got to take off Thursday too. <laughs> right. Yeah, Terrible. Right, right. <laughs> Your sister's awful. <laughs> don't ever talk about her again. I met her, and she's so nice. She's but not still, nice. Sam, Jesus Christ, what was she thinking? That's not fair. What kind of deal did she get? I don't know. I didn't pay for it myself. 50% off, I guarantee. Because who else is getting married on a fucking Wednesday? I hope she only saved like $30. <laughs> Inconvenienced everybody. I got. I think I, get, I went to a wedding once. It was the day before like Christmas Eve. I'm like, really? Yeah, it's an inconvenience. You know, this is a busy fucking time of the year. I got last minute shopping to do, and now I have to deal with a fucking wedding the day yeah. before God Christmas damn Eve. Jewish people. Jewish, Jewish, Jewish. Were nope. they Jewish? No. <laughs> you know what I want to get married, Gregory? <laughs> Where, Ted? I want to get married on Groundhog Day so everybody can dress like Paul Tiny Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I love Paul Tiny Phil. I just want to go scooch a scooch under his <laughs> chest. <laughs> scooch a scooch. He's very vicious, that little fucker. Oh, no, he's lovely. He loves me. He bites people. He nuzzle. <laughs> I, I got to talk vague, but in the in the spring, I'm going to a... Uh oh, gay what? Yes, <laughs> it's a Renaissance festival theme. Oh, what a wedding! A, wet, a wedding, and everyone has to trust in character. Why I, would you? Uh, I wouldn't do it. I'm not even opening my teeth. Borrow Anthony's. And yeah, I have a, exactly. Right in, right and in the closet. Uh, and on top of that, you want a rapier? This is going to drive you nuts. A ah, rapier. This will drive you nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no alcohol at the wedding. What? That's no self- mead? That's is it called <laughs> my, mead? My lord. Oh, I fucking hate that. I fucking ah. hate it too. Mead. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Where's the bathroom? Why? Without be taking a bath? No, I I have to you know <laughs> go to the bathroom. Oh, you mean the privy? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Where's the portable toilet that the shit sucking truck comes in? You know the Renaissance ye old shit sucky truck? <laughs> you fucking dork. 
All right, look. Ugh, Danny has a picture up, and that's how they expect us to dress. They want us well, to dress in you. character. No, everyone. Those are, those are everyone, belly dancers. Everyone has to dress in character. Who's getting married? Get belly dancers uh, up, you just, jackass. Just someone in the family. I have fantastic but the, uh, video that I have never even taken off the tape yet and put online. I have to fucking do this. Kitty porn? It is. No. Oh. It is me, uh, Danny, and Eastside Dave. And a couple of other people hammered off our fucking ass at the Renaissance Festival, throwing axes and ch those Chinese yeah. stars. Oh, nice. That's, that's something that is, I mean, as much as you want to make fun of Renaissance fairs. axe tossing, I love. I did it up in the Rochester area. Dude, anywhere where you can that's go rules. where they give you sharp objects Fuck after yeah. you're completely you're drunk hammered. is an awesome place to be. We are hammered. I am dressed in Whoa. full regalia. Look, I went to a Renaissance Looks Festival. like a tool. I went once in Rochester. I can't. I, I had a great time. We got drunk. The big fucking what turkey happens. legs. You're throwing axes. Yeah. I like the turkey. You're looking leg, at the right? winches. The, the winches rest of it sounds horrid. No, you get. It a, wasn't that bad. A yard. You get a yard of of ale, Ugh. and and you drink that down, and the turkey leg, and then you you throw axes, and then you watch people um, you know, sword fight. Why don't you cut the shit? and malarkey. Dock. Cut the malarkey. <laughs> yeah, why don't you stand up for this bunk? <laughs> yeah, but the but the problem I have. I is, want to be a king. Yeah, well, I yeah. want to dress in the old fashioned. <laughs> you can't be the king, Ted. But I want to be King Theodore the Third, no. finally respected and not slapped in the face and laughed at. But they have a king. You are just there as part of the 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 town, oh. the village. Yeah, so you know a, you could a regular folk. you could dress as like a. I uh, want to dress in ye old fashion. <laughs> well, you can but wear you, ye horse. <laughs> you could dress like a swordsman. Oh, or a, I wish to swashbuckle, Anthony. <laughs> oh no, that's like a pirate. Yes, it is. But I've seen. I, we there were a few uh, Jack Sparrows there that were ridiculous. Yeah, I don't understand. And I think how I saw that a Klingon. <laughs> Why was a Klingon at the <laughs> Renaissance Festival? But I guess they're going to be a up. dork. But do you think it's uh, a bit selfish to say no alcohol? Just because that's their thing. Yes, yes. That's not fucking fair. Yes. And I'm not a big drinker, but you know what? I want a fucking few pops. Hey, especially if you got to dress but, up. Are they going to make you on. do those dances that bring the ding 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 dancing <laughs> Look, when when you get like four of you together and hold hands in the middle and and go around in circles? I don't know what they're going to do. Who's going to dress, I, dress I, like that and dance without being drunk? Yeah, exactly. See, I do. You I do drink. respect that they're doing it different, and this this is something they're into. I really do. Uh -oh. But the, but to say, look, you know, we're not uh, we. We don't like you know drinking, so no one gets to drink. Is that's just not fair? No, it's not. Bring your own. Well, Bring ye old th drinking flask. You don't think we're all figuring that out now? I would fucking have a. Are you kidding me? Ye flask on the side. It's gonna be a fucking tailgate. Jack Daniels. There's gonna be a tailgate party going on. <laughs> Put it in ye pocket, Gregory. <laughs> I'll smite ye. <laughs> don't be smiting. I Why would you swing smite a medieval ye? mace around. I attack people with it. Do we have some... I want to be respected like King Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> we need some uh, loot music for uh, <laughs> loot. For Ted Yee. <laughs> <laughs> Ye old Ted. Glad we're talking about weddings. See, yeah. this is how they should have talked about weddings. The fucking selfish fucks like Sam's sister. Wow. I like her too, Sam. I'm sorry. It's Is your mom true, listening though. today? She's going <laughs> to My mom did listen me. every day. I'm but, sorry, uh, Sam's mom. It's okay. She was very inconsiderate. She is, right? To have the wedding in the middle of the week was I hate that bitch. Okay, well, you don't even know her. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> Sam felt so uncomfortable that he couldn't even really take uh, days off for his own sister's wedding. Even he felt like, I can't do this. I, I, could, just, I could give you maybe a half a day. Yeah, I didn't take the day of the wedding off. No. Oh. No. But that's me, though. I don't take days off. Right. You know, uh, I don't do that. And people that get married dedicated. On, a, right. on a Friday before uh, uh, a three-day weekend, what the fuck? That is just selfish shit. <laughs> get a better job and get some fucking money in your bank account and do it the right way. That's right. A Saturday in the middle of just a who gives a shit weekend. In the summer, <laughs> so it's warm. No, I want my summer weekends off oh, too. In the winter, so yes. it's cold. Yeah, because most yes, yes, for real. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Now, let's get back to Loper. And do you know, like, there's all kind of things people don't know. You know, it's cheaper to have a wedding on a Friday than it is on a Saturday. Yeah, that is true. And Why? I don't know. Let's go That's over weird. these things. All right. There's like a lot random. of things maybe you don't know. You, you ask some questions, Smitty will answer the questions. I have a vote. What's that? I think you should have the wedding at that one underwater hotel you were showing me the other day, uh, Randy. That is yeah. cool. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's underwater. <laughs> it's 20 feet underground. I would love it if my mama... That, wait, wait, isn't that that awful 
thing we talked about. <laughs> Where's and that? we we actually spoke to a woman that worked there. Is she listening today? And said it was she'll, a... She'll tell you how cool that horrible underwater hotel thing is all about. Mildewed, <laughs> drippy, fucking stinking smells metal like, rust bucket. Smells like Chinatown on a hot summer's yeah. day. It's not a hotel. With all that shit that's rotting that they're trying to sell us. It's a like a bed in a <laughs> right. fucking 55-gallon drum I'm underwater. Like, right. How do you get out of there? Is there a steps or is there a sub? You got to, uh, uh, I think, swim in and through an airlock in the no, bottom. They don't, they, no, they don't. Yes, Come you got to go down and there's swim. Little, there's a little tunnel thing. You got to swim. But you don't. No, you I swim. Don't think, I don't think so. I don't think Swear so. to you. Do you drag your luggage? Uh... Yeah, how do you get your luggage down? <laughs> I know. There? Oh, didn't she say they put it in plastic or something? How do you get your luggage? I don't know. She, and get your she luggage back down there? She was she was a favorite phone call of ours. But you can only she take like so much place. because you can only take like so much because like luggage won't even fit through the airlock thing. All right, let me go to Stryker and hopefully that Stryker that woman will call and, and um, answer all our questions. Stryker. Morning, boys. Hey, buddy. Who do you love, you, love the show? Uh, <laughs> Anyhow, I'm, I'm going to a Halloween themed wedding this Saturday. Oh, uh, my my neighbor across the street, they're like really into horror films and whatnot. And they're getting married this weekend and it's Halloween themed. They're expecting everybody to be in costume. And I just told them no. That's not <laughs> as bad though, though, dude. Because it's like a Halloween party. That's not as bad because the reception's like it's a party. It's not a Halloween party. What's that? It's, it's not even a Halloween party. In fact, the reception later on, you don't have to be in costume for the reception. The invitation actually said that. I'm like, then why the fuck do I need to dress up? They yeah. should dress up like fucking Scott and Lacey Peterson. That'd be funny <laughs> wedding costumes. <laughs> <laughs> or Jake and Vicky Lamata. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Jimmy, I got one for you. Uh, for Uncle Paul, I saw a daycare center yesterday. The name of it is called Hugs and Tugs. Yeah, Hugs and Tugs. Day I know that place. Hugs and <laughs> Tugs. Jesus. They rejected my application. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I, I saw it yesterday, and I thought of Uncle Paul and just cracked up laughing. I thought, perfect place for him. I'm glad you right, did. Watch out. Uncle Paul rules. Yes. Hey, Stryker, thank you, buddy. Uh Danny, I think uh, we're on the same page today. I like this. I saw that shark thing you put up there. We're going to get to that. A fucking shark bit another fucking shark. That's how fucking evil these sharks are. Yeah, pretty nasty. <laughs> you got to see the chunk oh, yeah. that the one shark took out of the other so, shark. What do you think shark? You saw that sick. shit yesterday? Sharky sick shark shit. world out there. Huh? Huh? Oh, That's oh, where it came oh, from. Oh, 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 huh? No wonder you're not on the plane anymore. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually in this studio. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, you've been demoted back to our show. <laughs> Here we go. More wedding talk. Underground. I would love if my mama could go. Yeah. Smitty, she's 88. My, How is she going to scuba dive down to the bottom? My granny, my papa. Wedding survivor. Yeah. No. Sorry, mama. Yeah. Get in the pool. Michael Phelps it up a little bit. 550-9103. Toll free. 866-954-ROCK. Uh, hey, where should Randy and I get hitched? We'll take your suggestions coming up oh, next. Oh, come on. Yeah. What? Out of all the Give phone to topics the you can do? Yes. They have decided... So what they're going to do with their day is spend an hour, and yes, they spent an hour. They spent an hour on this? Talking about where they're going to get married locally. Holy shit. Not exotic places, not crazy fun places, but just different venues in West Palm Beach where? and the surrounding area that could facilitate a wedding. Well... The next track, they actually start talking, uh, taking calls, excuse me, with wedding location suggestions. So they're actually doing it, Ann. Uh, Tiffany in West Palm Beach, hello. Hey, hey, guys. I wanted to wish you congratulations first off. Uh, and, uh, thanks, Jeff. Appreciate that. <laughs> My friend is getting married at the Addison in Boca Raton in January, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Wait, they say, like say it again. Boca, Boca. It's the Addison. The Addison, kind of like the yeah. Madison without the M. Yes. Right, and okay. it's, it's in Boca, and the they Boca have like, these big oak trees in the middle that they light up for you. It's it's really? absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, you should check it out. Big oak trees, huh? I like yeah. that. I like how she says that. It's really gorgeous. It's in Boca. I'm from Louisiana, and we have huge oak trees full of moss and stuff, and that makes me think of home, so yeah. that's pretty interesting. It, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's the polar opposite of interesting. It couldn't be less interesting, actually. I would bet money they already know where they're being fucking of married. Of course they do. Well, why spend so much time? It's like when you hear your loved ones talking about their wedding, you want to kill yourself because it's boring. 
Oh, is that what happened with your sister getting married recently? Yes, I told you it to my. Like, you didn't like the fucking marriage talk. Every time I went over to their to my parents' house, all they were talking about was the wedding, and they're related to me. But. I don't need to hear an hour <laughs> of strangers talking about it. All right, hey, uh, Justin has another. <laughs> that is fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm yes, go ahead, Justin. Tampa. Um, Keep now, it local. I live down in Florida <laughs> and down south. You know, college football is huge, and I hate when people want to get married on a big college football weekend. I, I went to the Clemson Miami game this past weekend um, and was invited to a wedding and just told them no because I was going to this game. Well, it's funny you should say that because someone told me probably three days ago they had to go to a christening. And yeah. this person that w was having their baby christened, female, big football fan, mm -hmm. christening on a Sunday two yeah. days ago, she looked at the fucking football schedule and said, well, my favorite team's not playing this Sunday, so this is a perfect day for christening. Ah. And the thought uh, is, well, uh, other people's favorite fucking football teams are playing, playing this Sunday. Mm. That's selfish. Yeah, why would you go to a loving ceremony with family when you can watch a bunch of guys throwing a ball? Dude, but, but that shit, <laughs> you could, watch stupid. Out, but you could plan that shit around fucking big football weekends. I know. Because then you get everyone crowding around a dumb, tiny little TV because someone figures out how to smuggle a little, you know, black and white TV, TV into in. church. Exactly. <laughs> or, what, well, not the church, but obviously, but anywhere else. You put it on the back of the Moyle's head when he fucking <laughs> sucks the blood off the baby's penis. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Fucking barbarians. That is true. <laughs> kids' foreskin alone. Interesting enough, you can't use portable televisions um, outside of uh, the house anymore with the digital conversion. Oh, fuck, really? You can't just, you know, put up the old antennae, the uh, rabbit oh, ears. Oh, wow. That's, yes, yes, I had yes, no yes. idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll, you'll, just, always... uh, you'll get one station. It's no kind of like... Kidding. Yeah, it's Emergency. Like, yeah, it's, it's like a nuclear holocaust channel, yeah, basically. <laughs> if that one comes on, you're yeah. fucked. You're fu it just, it just, it's like a loop saying that you're, the reason why you're not watching TV wow. is because everybody yeah. else has digital. It's the, it's the one channel like Jordy Verrill was watching when he <laughs> fell asleep in front of the television. <laughs> yeah, they just, they just played a Star Spangled Banner and a Test Banner. <laughs> yeah. All right, I was out of that one. You got to help me out. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Creep Show. Fuck, see, I got to watch Creep Show. Oh, you guys reference Jordy that one a lot. I'll bring it in for you if I can remember. Can you? Because yeah. I, I like uh, Danny's movies. Media together. shit. I finally <laughs> saw the prestige because of uh, Danny. Uh, Excuse me, I'd like Great. to get back to the laughs, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. More <laughs> wedding suggestions. Here we go. Jacktober continues. Nick and Fort Pierce, uh, you're next. Go ahead, man. How's it going? Uh, going well. If you say Fort Pierce, I'm going to say uh, going bad. <laughs> no, I'm driving through, going to work. Okay. Um, there's a spot down in Key Largo <laughs> called Snooks by the Bay. Snooks by the Bay. No, How many we check that out yet. Yeah, Snooks uh, by. Is there all you can handle snook fishing? Um, I would imagine there is. Oh no! Good. It overlooks the bay. Actually, there's a website you can go on to and check it out. Well, when we're planning on getting married, we'll actually be out of snook season, so that's a bomber. Yeah. Well, yeah. Then, then we can get married there, actually. That's fine, <laughs> Sorry I missed your wedding, guys, but I got a three-foot snook. Three foot snook. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me ask you something. Um, that'd be impressive. Who the fuck looks forward to this in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Who runs out to the car to hear this fucking shit? <laughs> I love the genuine <laughs> anger that Jimmy Ooh. that pops up in Jimmy. I don't get it. It's just genuine anger. I don't fucking get it. Well, walk through it. You wake up and you're running to your fucking radio. You can't yeah. wait to get it involved. Oh, they're <laughs> right. on. Right. Yeah. The lists are live and local. <laughs> local and vocal. what is it? Local, oh, whatever it live, is. Live, live, local, local and local. vocal and vocal. Get me a lope wiser, somebody quickly. Oh yeah. Where's yeah. my lope wiser? <laughs> here you go, Jimmy. Here you go. That's right, sir. I got it right here for you, right, That's right. now. Icy cold. You pop the fucking pop the tap in your mouth and work those balls. Get a nice lope wiser. Blowjob joke. <laughs> yep, got it. Eric, Yoki. what do you got for the show? <laughs> a boo. Where are you calling from, so we can be local? I'm calling from Maryland. Oh, cool. Not local enough. What part of Maryland? Frederick, Maryland. Not local enough. Come on. Ah, my friend's from Elkton. Frederick, uh, New Design Road. Not local enough. <laughs> your home address. <laughs> 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 what room are you in my house? <laughs> 
All right, Eric. We actually need the plot number that goes on your property tax. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like, so you can really narrow it down. Let's really run the local bit into the ground. Uh, Give your I specific location. Like and you can look at me on Google Maps. What's we that worst phone ever? <laughs> no, this is. <laughs> Too annoying, huh? God, that is really I, fucking annoying. My phone does that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take much to entertain you, does it? No, you guys. Make, he goes, what did you just it? hand me? A fart. Oh, yeah, he just blew a fart over to you. It's a cup uh, of fart. Oh, no, he just ate cat food. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't stuffy. even smell. It smells like mm, it, sm it smells right. like meat. Let me go. Oh, meat. Let me go to Eric. Go ahead, Eric. I was saying, my brother had his daughter's baby naming at 9 a.m. on New Year's Day. Wait, his ba baby naming is an event? It's a Jewish what? thing, I believe. Jewish oh, really? ceremony, right? Yeah. Oh. What is that all about? I don't the really know. What is that? I it, burden. The, the rabbi who, uh, takes the, your daughter, says a blessing over, announces her Hebrew name, and that's pretty much it. Ugh. And, that, have to have uh, and they decide to do it 9 a.m. New Year's Day? Yes. That is the most fucking selfish That's thing nice. I've ever heard. What fucking nerds? What the fuck? <laughs> Why don't they cut it out? Cut it. Hey, Why don't you cut it out? Yeah, call your kid whatever you want. Yeah. Just don't call your kid late for supper. Oh, <laughs> shit. Do the bit. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, Eric, thank supper. you. Supper. I, yeah, yeah. I guess you get the point, huh? Uh, this guy used to work at Larkfield Manor Inn. That's a little local knowledge for ah, fucking Long Island, huh? yeah. Larkfield Manor. Hey, uh, that's, uh, that's uh, if, if I'm not mistaken, that's right by the corner of, like, Larkfield Road and, I believe, um, Clay Pits. Tom? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. See, I was talking to you. There's a there's a 7-Eleven there, right? And a gas station on the other corner. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I believe there was a, um, a, uh, a supermarket and a Genovese up the road a little ways. King Cullen across the street. King Cullen, yes, Opie. A King Cullen. I'm just trying to keep it local, live, and uh, lousy. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking doing here. King Cullen is the fucking worst supermarket. I am King of Cullen. Why don't uh, you like King Cullen, Jimmy? It's fucking horrendous. King Cullen. I'd rather fucking eat out of Prince Dumpster <laughs> than go to King Cullen. King Cullen. King yeah, Cullen. Where did that come from? Fucking awful. Danny, find out where King Cullen originated. There's a worse one. What? Wallbounds. Wall <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you know some Jewish guy was like, hey, Wall I'm going to open a supermarket. Anything with a silent D should be fucking blown up. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, Wall bomb. I think you got to sneak that D in a little bit. I we think used to just call bombs. it wall bombs. Yeah, wall bombs. Hey, it's wall bombs. But, um, yeah, King Cullen. These are, if you're on the West Coast, you know, these are the same things as Vons and Safeway. <laughs> To keep it local. Not for them. as good though. Vons. <laughs> Why? What's an awful oh, one? Sea Town is always in the ghetto. Sea Town. Uh, sea Town. And rules. Key Food. Key Food's yeah. always in a pretty much a shithole too. Key Food. Oh, sorry, Danny. Is one near you? <laughs> you you yeah. were, he you were nodding your head like, yeah. He lives above one. <laughs> <laughs> not too far away. <laughs> Key Food's sucking yeah. ass. Key Food is fucking terrible. <laughs> but King Cullen. King Cullen. <laughs> I'm the manager at King Cullen. Can I help you? Remember Bohack? Bohack. No. There was a supermarket named Bohack. On Long Island? No. Yes, Bohacks. I'm still looking for a two guys. I have to return some trousers two I got guys. in 1980. <laughs> Bohacks. All right, Tom, what do you got on Larkfield Manor? When I used to work there, and I, I was up for maybe eight, nine years, every Super Bowl Sunday, um, we never once had a wedding because people would come in and they would you know, they're booking their weddings a year in advance or whatever. And they might not know the date, but we always had it in the book that that was the Super Bowl. And I remember one couple in particular that came in to book their wedding and thought, look, it's uh, Super Bowl Sunday. So they took the following week instead because they know people just weren't going to show up. Well, uh, they're being nice. Exactly. But they're they're not thinking people. of just themselves. That was one day. I didn't have to ask for yeah. 10 bucks. I knew I wouldn't be working. Holy shit, really? Can we say that we're talking about? Why? All right, all right, all right. Hey. We got something going on nice right now. Hey, thank you, Tom. And hey, Jimmy, I love your book. As you should have. <laughs> I thought it was excellent. Yes, it was. Dude. Stop kissing my ass. Thank you, sir. We got to get that done. That's huge. I know. Thank you, buddy. The
All right, 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 I'm sorry. John in Jersey. John. Hope it fails. Hi, it's John from Red Bank, New Jersey, on the Navistink River. How are you guys? Welcome. Very close to the Count Basie Theater. It's amazing. I don't know. On Super Bowl Sunday in 2000. throw. What? Fucking cup. Wait, I think he said his wife's cousin was married on Super Bowl Sunday. Wow. Is there anything more fucking selfish than that? That is the number one selfish thing ever. He was Russian, and she's a freak retard. They dress up for Renaissance festivals, and I was the only one that seemed to be bothered. Really? You would think more people would be bothered. Even if, maybe they didn't care. <sighs> your phone sucks, brother. Yes, yeah, so that Sorry really. What you, that. What's your phone made out of? Fucking paraffin and tinfoil? <laughs> your phone <laughs> fucking eats my ass. <laughs> Kevin in West Hampton. Paper and a comb. Kevin, West Hampton. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. He's got the history of uh, King Cullen. Oh, for everybody. thank goodness. Who does? Kevin. What's up, Kevin? Uh, what do you know on King Cullen? It's the, actually, the family name is Colin. They spelt it with a C, but when they put it together for the, I guess, you know, 2K, K, K, King Colin. What? Why King? You got me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the whole thing I want to yeah. know. We assumed Cullen was a name. Yeah. We didn't think it was a fucking oh. political ideology. What would I give a shit if Cullen changed it from C to K? Exactly. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> it's coming from West Hampton, by the way. For Jesus. someone that has the history of King Colin, he didn't have much history. No. He had nothing. All right, let's get back to this. So uh, we go back to Loper, and they're still talking. Wow, you, you put this in caps, Sam. So yes. that means you got anger. Uh, uh, you got mad. They're still uh, taking wedding location suggestions. Cool. Uh, let's go to Mike on the turnpike. Good morning, Mike. Hey, good morning. What's up, dude? Uh, I'm, I'm with that guy that uh, said snooks. But just to the south of that, like mile marker 100, is uh, the Key Lime Sailing Club. It's like little cottages right on the water. Okay. Uh, full of fish and seas. And it would probably, you know, mm. probably accommodate <laughs> maybe 30, 40 people uh, staying the night there. And every room comes with a sailboat. Oh, oh really? Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, it, it, is, it is so cool. What is I it called, Key there. Lime? Key Lime Sailing Club. Sailing Club. Uh, See, this so is what nice. I like. You find it on the internet, no, you don't. It's, it's it's uh, now the rooms are peachy, so it's you know nothing matches, and it's kind of you know whatever. But but it's really nice, and yeah, it's that's very where nice they're going for their I'm wedding. I'm happy if my hotel comes with a chocolate Andy's mint on my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy's low budget. God, Get it? Stop it. Who wants a sailboat with their room? Yeah. What the fuck? Who the fuck wants a sailboat? Well, Smitty. Can we finish Smitty. This? Smitty, right? Yeah. Can we stop now, Sam? Actually, no. Please? No, because we have not properly highlighted they come out. Smitty and well, me. this is good. They come out of the horrendous wedding talk with Smitty's Soap Box. What's yeah. this about, Sam? This is like a, a ripped-off fezzatorial done extremely poorly. Oh, it's like he's up on his soap box. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's sounding off about whatever it is that's got him riled up, and, and this week it's The Price is Right. It's cool. He's mad at the prices, right? Why not? It's fucking very relevant. Why is he mad at the prices, right? Well, some, don't spoil it, Sam. Something he saw on the hit TV show, The Price is Right, uh, got him riled up. All right, hold on. Larry King wants in. We haven't heard from Larry oh, today. Larry. We got Larry King audio for real. Uh, Hulk Hogan was on. It was just horrendous. Correct. Larry, what do you got today, buddy? Good morning, my boys. I once went to a wedding at one in the afternoon on a Saturday in June. Questions, comments. <laughs> what? What happened? How important is time when I'm wasting it? <laughs> <laughs> a boo. A boo is right. It's getting a boo. I got to take the blame for that. Why? You thought it was good? Yeah, I fucking failed miserably. Oh, Larry King's usually a hit on our show. So Here's uh, Loper and his uh, soapbox thing. Odd. Smitty's soapbox. Smitty's oh, soapbox. So who's Smitty? Loper and Smitty. Oh, he's <laughs> the proverbial third wheel in the gang. All right. It is eight sixteen here on the morning buzz, and time for Smitty's soapbox. Uh, Y'all ready for this? <laughs> we are, sir. Yeah, Jimmy, you guys uh, hear the, the well, Jimmy? It's the your face is in your hands. Music. You're right. 
embarrassed. Gonna this t- is horrible. Smitty's going to tell Radio. it like it is. Oh, the fake. Up, the, I'm sick of the applause sound effect. It's a, it's yeah, fuck. How, how many times? How much clapping they, do they need? Stop it. And it's bad applause, too. Self-congratulatory douchebags. Just to make up for the fucking awful silence in the room. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Cover up the dead air. It is 8.16 here on the Morning Buzz in time for Smitty's Soapbox. Smitty's. Y'all ready for this? We are, sir. Yes. <clears throat> if by chance you ever happen to find yourself on the Price is Right Showcase Showdown and are at first <laughs> offered a dinette set and trip for two to Mexico City, right. you need to tell Drew Carey to shut up and pass that ish to the slightly <laughs> overweight college girl standing next to you. Always, man. Because you know, and I know, and everyone knows that within that next showcase lies a somewhat mediocre 2009 Pontiac. <laughs> You need that somewhat mediocre 2009 Pontiac. <laughs> and look what we have here. The slightly overweight college girl just bid $36,000 on the dinette set. Now do us all a favor and bid $1 so you can drive that Pontiac right into the heart of your dreams. Meanwhile, the dog you've had for two years, which you never got around to neutering, just humped every stray hussy on your street. Uh-huh. I always knew you were a jerk. See ya. I need like an out. I need like a love Smitty balls or something, so you know when they're officially over. Well, that's over, Whoa. and I like that, man. How about holy when- shit? Wait, 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 Jimmy. Before you say anything, I think you got stiff competition for that fucking fucking uninvited guest thing you're doing for Leno. I should just change the name, <laughs> right? To fucking what's it called? Jimmy Soapbox. Shitty Soapbox. Shitty Soapbox. Shitty Shitty Soapbox. Did you know? What did he say about? <laughs> we need a sound effect to know when it's over. Usually, yeah. if you got really good material, yeah. the listeners know when it's over. How about this? Because they've effect? had their share of laughs. Yeah. Here's the sound effect for them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear when he said, pass that ish? You know what ish? Oh, no, what? I tapped out way before that. It was actually in the very beginning. Oh. Pass that. <laughs> tapped out anyway. Pass yeah. that ish. What's well, an ish? See, in, uh, in, in, in hip-hop lyrics on the radio, a lot of times they'll play the curse words backwards instead of beeping them out. So a lot of the funnier talk programs nowadays will say ish instead of shit. Oh, I got it. It's a sort of a hats off to you okay. type of thing. So that's kind of just... Very good. Shut up, your fucking tnuck. Okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you tunk. <laughs> that's what I just kind of said. Oh, really? Tnuck. <laughs> See, it's T-N-U-K. I, I said tunk. Yeah, you said tongue. Which would have been knut. <laughs> you oh. suck at that. Oob. Oob. <laughs> Jesus. Those are backwards. Uh, uh, by the way, Bobby took a break. He's going to be back in studio in uh, about 15 more minutes. So. Yeah. What happened? I don't know. He left. He didn't want to be part I gotta of this. I got to leave. What, the what do you mean you got to leave? We got one more fucking track, oh, Jimmy. I'll hear the other track. All right. Oh, the the gang says goodbye. Oh, cool. The gang says goodbye for the morning. Hope it's the same way fucking Steve McNair and his girlfriend said goodbye. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Or the old, the it. old Phil Hartman send off. <laughs> you want the virus to, to do it? It was Bill Shatner's wife. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The old, the old fucking Luke Costello kid. Hey, take it easy, glub glub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey, Tommy, could you babysit? Rock and roll! <laughs> yeah, man, I'll keep an eye on the kid. <laughs> hey, what the Oops. fuck was he doing that day? Exactly. Not checking the skimmers. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What have we got in here? <laughs> <laughs> Who have we got in here? <laughs> here we go. Let, let the Lope Weiser say goodbye. All right. Absolutely. Randy, tell the world that uh, we'll see him tonight at Roxy's. Everyone, the world. I'm sorry, not everyone. The world will be at Roxy's well, tonight. Don't take Florida for granted. And Smitty, <laughs> you want to bid uh, everybody oh. farewell? Don't take good music for granted. That's right. That's Come to Roxy's say. tonight, 9 o'clock. Have a cocktail with me. <laughs> All right, and guys. Me. And you, and you, and you, and you. Uh, here's a icy cold one, man. Lopewiser for everybody getting through the work day. We'll see you tonight. There it's 948. Is. Jason Davis up next. A fucking icy cold Lopewiser. Icy cold Lopewiser. Finishes up the show nicely. Well, Get you through the work day. Well, guys, that should finish up the show. Yeah.
But E Rock just brought in a bonus track. A bonus, a hidden track. And, and as much as we like to beat up E Rock, we fucking should be well, patting him on the do. back today. That sure. We could all at the same time, there'd still be room. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I think you said patting him on the back. It's already been done. E Rock Sorry, just brought in a. Uh, little... Wait, what, what's he choking on that we have to pat him on the back? <laughs> exactly. Oh. It's a minute. Oh, look, it's a fucking. It's a, it's a leg. It's Bo Derek's leg. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Orca. Yeah, that's an Orca <laughs> reference. Very good. <laughs> Holy suck, by the way. I fucking hated oh, Orca. Fuck <laughs> did you get that? Ah, oh, shit. That's brilliant. He's implying that Erock is as big as a killer whale. <laughs> I know. Uh, I think Erock got it. There, oh, I, I'm sorry. You don't have to rub it in that much. I, I think he really got it. it to, <laughs> he really got it, it to them. <laughs> um. Right. Iraq, what'd you bring in? Why don't you d <laughs> explain this? This is this is wow. This is this is gonna be a big douche chill. I was uh, trying to figure out if this if this engagement was real because on her MySpace is a bunch of photos with her and her I guess ex boyfriend and there really wasn't anything with her and Loper. Huh. So uh, I was digging through and they had some audio on their website that he pro that Loper proposed to her on the air. So it explained, uh, it sort of explained what happened to the ex that she broke up with that guy to start dating Loper. Yeah. And, uh, he does the full proposal on the air. And, uh, there's so this a little. Is, this is a, a bit. Well, I think when something might be mentioned during the proposal. So, so they're not engaged, you don't think? I'm, I think it, this is some kind of weird bit. No, it's real, I swear to they're, you. Yes, they're going to be married at the Fisherman's Hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, can you get Corey on the phone for us, please? <laughs> can you get Corey on the phone, please? Yes. <laughs> Here he is. He's got the accent. They're going to be married at the at Tettlebaum's Wharf. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. I just spoke with him on the phone. Yes. It's in Ohio. <laughs> it's south of Cleveland, about 1,200 miles in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, blithering idiot. <laughs> yes. Barack Obama's doing a tour. Would you like to get him in studio? Yes. Guys, a couple of pitches here. A couple. Do you want um? Do you want a uh, Bill Clinton? Yeah. No, we can't get him. Barack Obama. No. That's a, Neil Armstrong. <laughs> we no, could we... we could possibly get Sandy Kane or Pope John Paul before he died. <laughs> but I can't remember the new Nazi's name. <laughs> <laughs> Pope Richard Widmark. That's who he looks like. <laughs> What's the, I gotta hear the bonus tracks. I have to leave. I have to go catch, right, a, yeah, yeah. Have to catch a silver airship. Let's Ooh. do this. Here we go. Can I just do something real quick? I would love if you did. I just, I just want to say, I just want to say this. You know, like to all the Buzz listeners out there, I want you to look high in the sky right now. I want you to look towards the ocean, especially if you're around 45th Street, 995. And, uh, <laughs> More local. <laughs> More local. <laughs> <laughs> fucking you dopes. Keep it local, guys. Listening to your PD is going to get you nowhere, you stupid dopes. Who wouldn't know where the fucking ocean is? You're surrounded by it in Florida. Yeah. Look <laughs> everywhere but north, right. you dope. <laughs> <laughs> fucking assholes. Anthony and I had to play by the rules for a little while, but then we realized that there was, oh, there was a bunch of horse shit, so we started breaking the rules. But the, all these other shows are not brave enough to do that. Stop listening to your PD about the local shit. It ain't going to get you anywhere. That reminds me of the title of my new book, Rules... Dot, 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 Who's got him? <laughs> Can I just do something real quick? I would love if you did. I just, I just want to say, I just want to say this. Please. You know, like oh, yeah. oh. to all the Buzz listeners out there, I want you to look high in the sky right now. I want you to look towards the ocean, especially if you're around 45th Street, 995. And uh, Randy, I want you to look oh in front of 45th Street, 995. And if you're on the webcam, Randy Razor, I love you more than anyone I've ever loved in my whole life. Oh. And, uh, you know, with that being said, I love you more than anybody I've ever loved in my whole life. And I, I want to know if you'll marry me. Yes. Absolutely will marry you. I can't believe you have my name on a plane. <laughs> it just flew by on the sky. You if have you my name on a plane. I wish Mohammed Atta was right flying. flying. <laughs> <laughs> How great would it be if the plane crashed right into that studio? <laughs> 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 How great would that be? Fucking hot. Dad, fuck. They need dental records to identify oh, them. Fuck. Fuck that him. proposal was fucking terrible. He said the same thing twice. I love yeah. you more than uh, anybody I've ever loved in my life. And, um, and 
And, and he said um, it twice. Yeah. I love yeah. you. Now look up in the sky to see the ocean. What? I want you to look up <laughs> in the sky about? so you can see the plane flying by. Mm. Oh. Flew by on the sky. You have <laughs> my you, name on a plane. If you look up in the sky right now, here, let me put the ring on your finger. I gave him the wrong hand on accident. <laughs> What? You guys will see uh, oh a little a little banner oh my God. in the sky. And Brandy, you want to read the banner to everyone? Okay, it keeps going by. It goes, Randy, will you marry me? Heart Loper. Where's the 103.1 FM. A plane keeps going circling around our building. Fuck it, hold oh, on, hold my on, hold God. on. It's got the call letters uh, on it. You, and you listen to the it's sales guys. The frequency too. on it. Oh what the God. fuck? Your proposal has the fucking you, radio station on it. Fuck, you barred your own fucking proposal. Yeah, yeah. Well, sales is going to have to work all, this out. Yeah, we just, with you know, plane. if you agree to this, Jeez. we just got to put the call uh, letters on there. And then if you can thank the company at the end yeah. of your show for doing this. I can't read it because the sign is going straight up and down. Pilot John Denver doesn't seem to be doing this right. <laughs> <laughs> How great would that be? Oh, look, our sign is somewhere in the ocean on the way to Hyannisport. <laughs> Oh, oh, poor Johnny Jr. and his fucking banged up foot didn't do too good. Uh, <laughs> nice uh, throttle, dick. <laughs> Loper. Where's the 103.1 FM. A plane keeps going circling around our building. Do we have, like, clearance? That guy blew the bit, by the way. Where's the plane? I want to see it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, 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 they made it sound like it was right outside the window, obvious to everybody. And then look, that fucking idiot with his dumb improv fucked up the whole bit. He was probably distracted by the balloon uh, with two jocks in it dropping brassiere. All right, all right. Jesus. <laughs> you have to remind you everyone. You guys are fucking crazy. Yeah! <laughs> that was madness. Uh, We're flying a Zeppelin! Do the bit! Oh, douchey chills. <laughs> Good job, Iraq. Yeah. Wait, there's a little more. A heart. Loper. Where's the 103.1 FM. A plane keeps going circling around our building. Is, do we have, Whoa. like, clearance, flight clearance for this? <laughs> I oh can't believe I'm in shock. I, I make jokes when I'm in shock, and I'm in shock right now. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back, South Florida. Oh, I'm getting married. I am crying. Yeah, so are the listeners. Holy <laughs> shit. Exactly. That is such a fucking... Go fucking care! Yeah. It's a radio bit. It's a fucking fake... Radio bit engagement thing. They were hoping to get uh, some talk. Yeah, some and chatter. Some I, chatter. Some water cool. Uh, water. What is it called again? Water, water cooler, cooler talk. talk. Yeah. My agent says that sometimes. It seems like a little chatter starting. Yeah, I have to fucking chatter. hang up on Pete. I'm like, if you say chatter again, I'm firing you. Chatter. No one says chatter. I miss Pete. I miss Pete too, and Felice says chatter. <laughs> right. That's fucking awful ideas. I love Pete, but he comes up with some of the fucking worst <laughs> suggestions ever. Take a wrench and hit him in his teeth oh. when he says that. His That's awful hard. his awful fucking, Just fucking mock turtlenecks. <laughs> <laughs> He has no sense of fashion Pete's whatsoever. Pete's fucking fashion. Pete, if you're listening, <laughs> you your fucking... outfits stink. Hey, hey, suck a dick. <laughs> I forget what his, uh, the, the other shirts he wears, but Jonathan always teases him. Because my fucking awful manager, Jonathan, always has IJBL. He has his initials on his fucking uh, pocket, which is also the sign of an S. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there are windows in that studio. Wow. I don't remember. Yeah, right. You're a great find, man. Great yep. find. That was really moving. Oh, fucking. I, I got those goosebumps, man, as I was listening to that. That, that is so douchey. douchey. That was pretty Fake bad. Fake radio proposal. I don't know about that, Anthony. I don't think it's fair to say Fake that. radio proposal. When is uh, Eastside Dave, speaking of fake uh, wedding shit, going to admit that it was all a bit? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> Is that problem. coming soon? It actually wasn't. And the pregnancies, both of them were real as well. Well, when, when he does a bit, he's all in. I understand that. But so when's, the big, when's the big reveal? That it was fake. No, we, the, the big reveal is what he's dealing with now. A, a wedding and a, a wife, two kids. Yeah. That's it. That's the payoff. That, so he's not going to reveal that it was a radio bit ever? That's weird. That's yeah. like Andy Kaufman-ish. Well, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a radio bit. It's a problem. It no, we all know it was a bit. We just got to know when it's going to be fucking admitted. <laughs> it was, he's got a listeners. family now. All right. Well, you can do that to keep the bit going. We understand. No, I mean like a legitimate family.